Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. The two invincible talents at the beginning were called trash. Chapter 101. Come on, Zhang Lan. Bulma shouted loudly in the distance, followed by another sentence. If I win, I'll wear a thong and show you when I get back. PFF. Zhang Lan was almost discouraged when he heard these words. He roared, come out, but there was still no movement in his palm. Seeing that Vegeta's energy wave was about to hit his head, Sun Wukong said solemnly, Zhang Lan, let me help you. What you lack is just an opportunity. At this moment, Zhang Lan seemed to have entered a magical space. He was sitting cross-legged with his eyes closed. There was a pool of water under him. He seemed to be weightless, floating gently on the water. Ripples spread out from the water. There are phantoms of Teacher Saitama and Dachau in the sky, and they are connected by two rays of light. Following Sun Wukong's words, a shadow fell into Zhang Lan's body, and next to Teacher Saitama and Da Chao, there was a shadow of Kakarot. Zhang Lan suddenly felt that something was sprouting in his heart. He suddenly opened his eyes in the pool, and the light in his eyes became brighter and brighter. The next moment, his energy and spirit were perfectly integrated, and the manic aura he released suddenly became mellow and smooth. Next, I saw a ball of light slowly taking shape between Zhang Lan's hands, gradually getting bigger and brighter. Success, success, I finally learned turtle-style Qigong. Zhang Lan couldn't help but burst into tears. This time in Dragon Ball World, he had put in hard work. In addition to training, he practiced turtle-style Qigong all the time. For more than two years, he tried tens of millions of times and never thought of giving up. But at this moment, all the efforts have finally paid off. As the light group gradually grew, Zhang Lan felt as if he had a huge burden on his hands. He gritted his teeth, faced Vegeta's Star Destroyer cannon, and pushed out the turtle-style Qigong. A beam of light, thicker and larger than everyone present, hit the beam of Vegeta's Star Destroying cannon hard, making a violent sound. Boom! The collision of two huge energies instantly triggered a huge shock wave that quickly swept through the entire Dragon Ball Earth. Even the awakened ones who were dozens of kilometers away were swept by this shock wave and fell to the ground one after another. They climbed up and saw two huge energies in the distant sky, scorching and biting tightly in the air. Although they didn't know how Zhang Lan did it, everyone felt their eyes sting just by looking at the energy beam. You can imagine how much energy is contained in the light beam. Once this beam of light falls on the earth, everyone will inevitably turn into cosmic dust. Tang Yu clasped her hands together and silently prayed for Zhang Lan. Brother Lan, you must win. I want to eat gorilla meat. Wan Rui buried her hands in her towering hills and lowered her head. Brother Lan, if you want to win, I will risk my life to show you once. Others also began to pray for Zhang Lan. Please, I must win, classmate Zhang Lan. We want to return to Blue Star, classmate Zhang Lan, and defeat the Saiyans. Classmate Zhang Lan, if you want to go back alive, I will give birth to your child every year, until you die. The Dragon Ball warriors tried their best to launch Qigong waves to help Zhang Lan resist Vegeta's Gallic Cannon. They looked at Zhang Lan with complicated expressions. He finally did it. Teacher Wu Tian is right, it really takes a moment of life and death to fully unleash a person's potential. It's all our fault, we are too weak to put any pressure on Zhang Lan. Ning Tong couldn't help but look complicated. She and Zhang Lan studied the Guixian school together, but in the end only Zhang Lan persisted and succeeded. Thinking back to Zhang Lan's unremitting training every day, he never slacked off for 365 days. Even during the days when his uncle came, he never had a day off. From this point of view, Zhang Lan's success today is not accidental, it is all due to his persistence and hard work day after day. A man who is willing to work hard and has talent is so handsome. Ning Tong glanced at Bulma, who was cheering for Zhang Lan next to her, and immediately made up her mind, a thong. Looks like I'm going to be ready when I get back. It seems that I haven't fully learned the pole dance last time, and there is another strange goal. Ning Tong couldn't help biting her lip. Well, she felt so complicated. Although Zhang Lan successfully mastered the turtle school Qigong, the situation on the field was not optimistic. Vegeta was angry and used all his strength. With his combat power of up to 110,000, he was able to withstand the combined aura of everyone. Slowly, the energy column gradually moved downwards. 
Seeing that the situation was not good, Zhang Lan roared and started to transform into a superhuman form, a body of steel. Zhang Lan transformed and became the last straw to overwhelm Vegeta. The huge energy wave rolled back, impacted Vegeta, and pushed him straight out of the atmosphere. Vegeta roared, Beasts, just wait for me. Immediately, it was carried all the way out of the earth by the huge energy. Tudu's spaceship detected that his life was in danger, slowly floated up, turned into a stream of light and followed Vegeta. Zhang Lan slowly took back the turtle-style Qigong posture, smiled calmly, and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. It's great to be able to transform. Always have a trump card and use it when the enemy doesn't expect it, so you can win with one blow. With Vegeta defeated, a voice sounded in the minds of all the awakened ones. The timeline is repaired successfully, everyone begins to leave, the countdown is 300.299.298. Zhang Lan's expression was complicated. You are too shameless in the spirit realm. You are really ruthless and will kick us out after you are done. I didn't even have time to learn the vitality bombs, Wukong Jutsu, Chi Yuan Slash, and teleportation. But now, no matter how much he thought, it was useless. Zhang Lan turned to look at Teacher Wu Tian, with a trace of reluctance in his eyes. Teacher Wu Tian, we are going back. Thank you for your careful teaching these days. Teacher Wu Tian looked at Zhang Lan with appreciation. Very good, Zhang Lan, you are considered a beginner. Don't forget to continue practicing after returning to your world. Zhang Lan clasped his hands and fists and bowed to Teacher Wu Tian as a disciple. I must not forget the teachings of Teacher Wu Tian. Teacher Wu Tian was silent. It would be great if Sun Wukong could see this. Zhang Lan's heart moved. If nothing happens, the Dragon Ball warriors will go to Namek to look for the big Dragon Ball. Originally, it was Krillin who should have revealed this matter, but this time, Nappa was instantly killed by him with one punch, and Vegeta was knocked away by him. Krillin didn't seem to have a chance to talk to Vegeta. If he hadn't told him, Sun Wukong might have spent the rest of his life with the King of Kai. Zhang Lan took a deep breath and said it anyway. Actually, before you guys came here, I heard Vegeta say that Piccolo is a Namekian. If the Dragon Balls on Earth cannot be used, it doesn't matter. If that doesn't work, he will go to Namek to find the Dragon Balls and gain immortality. Quote. Teacher Wu Tian's eyes widened and he said excitedly. So, what do you mean? Zhang Lan nodded. Yes. I suspect that there are Dragon Balls on Namek that can grant wishes. This may be a way to resurrect Goku. As soon as Zhang Lan finished speaking, a voice sounded in Dragon Ball Warrior in his mind. Everyone, long time no see. I am Sun Wukong. I also heard what Zhang Lan said. I asked the King of Kai to confirm for me that Namek does exist, and there are Piccolo's kin on it. The method Zhang Lan said should be feasible. The Dragon Ball fighters cheered. Klin looked at Zhang Lan with earnest eyes. Zhang Lan, can you stay a little longer before leaving? Zhang Lan shook his head helplessly. He felt that his body was gradually disappearing and he was leaving this world. However, it's hard to say. Maybe he will come to the Dragon Ball world again in the future, but that's not necessarily the case. But when he thought about the tyrannical fighting power of the Universe Emperor Frieza, Zhang Lan was still a little frightened. According to Blue Star's level classification standards, even if he reaches level 9, he is no match for Frieza. He said to Krillin, Senior brother Klin, if conditions permit, I will definitely come. Zhang Lan felt that his time in this world was running out, so he waved his hands to everyone. Goodbye everyone, Namek is very dangerous, so be sure to be fully prepared before going. He dodged, jumped to Bulma's side, and said, Bulma, let's see the thong next time. Can you give me your combat power detector? Bulma was stunned. Although she didn't know why, Zhang Lan didn't like thongs and liked glasses. But she didn't ask any more questions. She quickly took off the detector and handed it to Zhang Lan in a hurry. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I can make more. I've already designed the drawings. Zhang Lan took the detector, held Ning Tong's hand, and jumped away with her, saying something from afar. Goodbye everyone, we will have the opportunity to meet again in the future. After finding a secret place, Zhang Lan quickly turned the combat uniform into a small ring and handed it to Ning Tong together with the detector. Ning Tong secretly glanced at Zhang Lan's strong body. Wow, this Superman form is even more hot and powerful. 
The muscles are more developed and the body is more explosive. Her little hand touched it directly. Zhang Lan's face froze. He forgot to change back to his bald form just now. It's over. Ning Tong saw the body of steel and touched it. You went too far. Ning Tong covered her mouth and giggled, rolling her eyes at him. Okay, I won't let you suffer either. The clothes on her body slowly disappeared, and in the end, only a thong was left. Ning Tong even put on a perfect S shape, facing Zhang Lan, with her hands on the plump headlights, making a perfect heart shape. Love you. Zhang Lan's nosebleed suddenly spurted out, poof. Oh, Ning Tong, what kind of plane are you doing? Murder your husband. Dot 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 dot. Zhang Lan's battle with Vegeta took less than half a day. Since no awakened person has been able to return from the number. For spiritual realm, Blue Star has been completely blown away, and rumors are flying all over the sky. Spiritual realm number 4 collapsed completely, and all students died. The Spiritual Realm Management Bureau must bear the primary responsibility. The Spiritual Realm is constantly abnormal. Under the pressure of surging public opinion, Zhang Anping had a few wrinkles on his forehead and called Ning Zhengxin one after another. Old Ning, haven't they come out yet? How can I not be in a hurry? There are several children among the senior leaders of China. They are under great pressure. Okay, let me know as soon as there is news. Zhang Anping put down his cell phone and looked at the data on the spiritual realm detector. The reason why he kept calling Lao Ning tirelessly was not because he had any bad feelings towards Lao Ning. In fact, the spiritual realm detector that had been silent just now suddenly popped up a set of scores. Ning Tong, Zhang Lan, 100 million. Except for them, everyone else is zero. Zhang Anping counted it several times. Yes, there are eight zeros after the one. The last time he went to the number. Three spiritual realm, he remembered that the price was more than 10 million. This time, it was good, and it was directly worth 100 million. Very good, this is very Ning Tong and Zhang Lan. If it weren't for the veteran experts from the Chinese Academy of Sciences who taught them many times, Zhang Anping would have wanted to go over there right now and slap them in the face. Ah, look at it for yourselves, and you still say it's okay. Is this a score that a normal device can display? In the past, if I exaggerated a little, others would still score some points. Good this time, no one else's scores will be displayed anymore, only Zhang Lan and Ning Tong's scores will be displayed, their scores are still 100 million points. Why, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong entered the spiritual realm to conquer it? Is everyone else eating shit in the spiritual realm? But thinking about the painful experience of being slapped in the face twice before, Zhang Anping still suppressed the rage in his heart. However, it was also verified from another aspect that in spiritual realm number 4, the students were not completely wiped out. At least Zhang Lan and Ning Tong were still alive and seemed to be doing well. That's why he called Lao Ning every minute. Lao Ning was also impatient and annoyed by his harassment. If it weren't for the fact that Zhang Anping invested in him several small goals, he would have wanted to criticize Zhang Anping. He was roaring even more inside. Why are you so anxious? It's as if your wife is having a difficult childbirth. Aren't I anxious? There are only six good prospects in my school, and they haven't come out yet. What's the point of just urging me? I just invested some money. I really think of myself as a boss. It's really not good enough. I dot can count your investment as shares for you. After all, Lao Ning still didn't have the courage to break up with Zhang Anping. He always remembered Ning Tong's mother's final words to him. Take good care of Tong Tong and don't let her suffer. For this reason, he resolutely gave up his identity as an awakened person and became a mortal, just to take good care of his daughter. His greatest wish was that the two of them could live their lives in peace. Unexpectedly, Ning Tong secretly found the Awakening Stone. Once you step on the path of awakening, you must move forward without hesitation. He knew that Ning Tong had a knot in his heart that he could never untie. Otherwise, she would not have insisted on awakening the S0 talent, the power of space, and it was successfully awakened by her in one go. Are these all God's will? In the middle of sighing, Lao Ning suddenly noticed the teleportation circle, which was emitting bursts of light, and his eyes suddenly widened. Ah, are you finally coming back? God bless her, Tong Tong must be safe and sound. 
As the light rose sharply, neatly, six figures, one, two, three, appeared in the teleportation circle. Lao Ning was immediately overjoyed. They all came out. It was great. They looked unscathed. Hey, why did Zhang Lan suddenly become a pretty boy? Although he is still bald, he seems to have become whiter and more handsome. Lao Ning quickly pulled Ren Peng and asked him. What happened? Tell me quickly. Why did it take so long to come out? Ren Peng turned around and looked at Zhang Lan frequently, as if looking at a prehistoric monster. Several other students also quickly moved away from the teleportation circle, as if there was something terrible about Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. Ren Peng's lips were trembling, and his eyes were full of fear. Zhang Lan, Zhang Lan is really not a human being. Zhang Lan was still reminiscing about Ning Tong's heart-shaped headlights, but suddenly heard Ren Peng Lai's words, and was speechless. What's going on? Why don't you just refresh the number 4 spiritual realm? Why are they saying that I am not a human being? I am a pure earthling, okay. Ren Peng grabbed Ning Zhengxin's hand and said excitedly to Lao Ning. Zhang Lan fought with a gorilla. The momentum was enough to blow up the entire planet. Lao Ning touched Ren Peng's forehead. You don't have a fever, why are you talking nonsense? How can there be a gorilla in the fourth spiritual realm? He thought that Ren Peng was frightened in the spiritual realm, so he turned his attention to Zhang Xinghe, who was more stable. Xinghe, tell me, what happened? Zhang Xinghe, a seven-foot-tall man, was even more outrageous. His legs were weak and he was just one step away from being scared to death. He plopped down and sat on the ground. With a look of fear on his face, he looked at Zhang Lan. Lan, brother Lan, don't kill me. I swear, I didn't see anything. Zhang Lan saw that things were getting out of control, so he could only step forward to stabilize the situation. Ahem, you have all misunderstood me. The me in the spiritual realm is actually no longer me, or in other words, it is not just me. Tang Yu opened her mouth wide, shocked. Ah, what on earth were you then? A glimmer of light flashed in Zhang Lan's eyes. I named it, Shenlong Form. It's time for Zhang Lan to show off his talents at the end of each spiritual realm. Zhang Lan cleared her throat, opened her eyes and started making up random things. As soon as he entered the spiritual realm, he and Ning Tong encountered monsters attacking citizens. He acted bravely and stepped forward to fight the monsters, gaining the trust of the Dragon Ball warriors who came to support them. Through Dragon Ball warriors, he met the gods of the Dragon Ball world again. The gods thought he was handsome and had extraordinary talents. At this point, Lao Ning and Ren Peng all rolled their eyes. So he was given the power of the Divine Dragon, and he was finally able to defeat the evil Saiyans, save Spiritual Realm Number 4, and restore the Spiritual Realm Number 4 timeline. Ning Tong stood aside, suppressing a smile and listening to Zhang Lan's nonsense. That guy, what he said is really ridiculous, he has a nose and eyes. If she hadn't seen the whole thing with her own eyes, she might have truly believed it. Ning Tong, as Zhang Lan's strongest wingman, was also shocked when he heard this, and was deeply impressed by Zhang Lan's eloquence. If you can compile it like this, you will definitely be good at telling bedtime stories to your children in the future. Fortunately, before she came out, she was still worried about how she would go about completing the number four spiritual realm. After all, no matter how much she reveals her strength, she can't match the combat power Zhang Lan showed this time. Zhang Lan's fighting ability against Vegeta this time was like a heifer flying in a plane, so awesome that he reached the sky. Not only everyone in the Dragon Ball world saw the last blast of Qigong Wave, but at least the tens of thousands of awakened people in the vicinity could all see it clearly. And judging from the scene at that time, Zhang Lan was the only one who could compete head-on with Vegeta. Before returning, Ning Tong was so focused on the concave shape that she forgot to ask him what to do when he came back. But he didn't expect that this time Zhang Lan would directly blame everything on the immortal who had merged with Piccolo. Seeing the demented expressions on the faces of Ren Peng, the others, and Lao Ning, Ning Tong quickly adjusted her mood and acted as if she was listening carefully and echoed from time to time. Yes, it is like that. Yes, it was thrilling at the time. Yeah, that's what Zhang Lan said. I didn't expect Zhang Lan to become so strong after the gods strengthened him. Lao Ning opened his mouth wide while listening to Zhang Lan's nonsense, and began to doubt life in his heart. What the hell, 
spiritual realm number four's combat power is so high. What? There are gods who can give others super strength. Is there really an alien gorilla, one that can destroy a planet with one move? How much did I miss back then? I seem to have experienced a fake spiritual realm. After more than half an hour, Zhang Lan finally gave his closing statement. In the end, I went through all kinds of hardships and finally saved the number four spiritual realm, also known as the Dragon Ball world. The power given to me by the gods was taken back when I left the number four spiritual realm. The above is what happened. Ren Peng's eyes widened and he tried to touch Zhang Lan's muscular arm. So, Brother Lan, have you become a third level loser again? Zhang Lan nodded quickly and gave Ren Peng a look of affirmation. You're right. You should say the same when you see the reporter. He looked helpless, spread out his hands, and said helplessly. Yes, if I still have that strength, do I still need to keep a low profile? Just announce that our school is the number one school in the world, okay? When Lao Ning heard this, he nodded happily. This young man Zhang Lan is very conscientious, and it was worthy of my special admission to recruit him. I really had a good eye back then. I could see people so accurately. I picked out a piece of real gold from a pile of garbage, ha ha ha. After dealing with Lao Ning and his classmates, Zhang Lan calmed down and looked at his attribute panel. He couldn't help but feel a burst of joy in his heart. This time in the number 4 spiritual realm, he really gained a lot. Although the 4th spiritual realm is a little more dangerous and more difficult. But it's really worth every penny. His current attributes have changed too. Physique. 1222 plus 2190. Spirit. 1222. Strength. 1222 plus 2190. Agility. 1222 plus 2190. Potential points. 2000. Talent 1. Saitama's talent. Talent 2. Superhuman talent. Talent 3. Saiyan talent. Talent skill 1. Clairvoyance. Talent skill 2. Thermal vision. Talent skill 3. Body of steel. Talent Skill 4, Turtle Style Qigong. Key to the World, Dragon Ball World. The settlement of the spiritual realm this time made him confused at the time. Not only did it provide 2,000 potential points, but also provided some key to the world. The most outrageous thing was that he actually obtained the Saiyan talent. Zhang Lan was confused at that time, huh? Didn't I just learn a Turtle Style Qigong? How did I become a Saiyan talent? What are Saiyan talents? Can your attributes be doubled by dying once? Or can it be quickly improved in the gravity chamber? Or turn into a gorilla on a full moon night? This talent has never been mentioned in the talent manual. Zhang Lan has never heard anyone say that one can also obtain talents in the spiritual realm. It seems that there are many secrets in the spiritual realm that are unknown to others. The sudden addition of Saiyan talents made Zhang Lan very painful. Depending on the situation, he could only rely on himself to explore slowly. And what surprised him was that the additional attribute points provided by the spiritual time house did not disappear completely as he thought, but just turned gray. Zhang Lan experienced his power and did not get the increase in additional attribute points, which meant that the gray additional attribute points did not work in the real world. However, the additional attribute points have not disappeared, which means that if he can return to the Dragon Ball world next time, these additional attribute points will definitely be able to play a role, and he will once again have the power to destroy the world. Zhang Lan walked to a place where no one was around and tried to practice turtle-style qigong. With his deep voice, turtle, pi, qi, gong. Between his hands, a ball of light slowly took shape. Zhang Lan felt happy and quickly dispersed the qigong wave. Being able to perform Guixian Qigong in the real world means that he has completely mastered the Guixian martial arts and can try to practice magical skills such as Wukong technique and Qi Yuan slash on his own. The Guixian style of martial arts has become his third power. The potential point and the key to the world were actually not taken into consideration by him. Only the Guixian style of martial arts is what Zhang Lan really wants. Him, Zhang Lan. Finally, in addition to the talents of Teacher Saitama and Teacher Superman, I found my own path. Since then, he has had three forms, the first, Elon Kamezan style, the second, One Punch Man Saitama form, and the third, Man of Steel Superman form. Single quote. Zhang Lan's power system finally took shape, forming a stable trinity structure. 
In nature, triangles are very stable forms, such as triangles, briefs, love triangles, and three-person sports. With Zhang Lan's three major forms in hand, no matter how big the world is, he can conquer it all. Zhang Lan stretched out with satisfaction and secretly scored 99 points for his on-the-spot performance just now. The reason why I don't give full marks is because I am afraid of being proud. Next, just wait for the reporters to flock in, hold a press conference, interact with the beautiful reporters, and feel the smell of seafood. In this way, the turmoil in the number 4 spiritual realm will be completely calmed down. Perfect, Zhang Lan thought confidently. As students from all over the country gradually returned, anxious parents and teachers rushed to greet them and ask them what happened. The classmates all turned pale, as if they had seen the most terrifying monster in the world. With their trembling mouths, they all said the same name in unison. Zhang, Zhang Lan, he's not a human, he's a devil. It's too powerful, don't mess with him, no one is his opponent. Why, why, this kind of monster would be a freshman. When leaving the spiritual realm, all awakened people heard the spiritual realm prompts. The Dragon Ball World Timeline has been restored. First place, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong, will be rewarded with the key to the world and 2,000 potential points. Then there was nothing more. The other awakened ones, except for the 10 potential points they had for staying for two months, were not given a single potential point to fight against the Saiyans. It's true that they don't have any shame. Apart from meeting the Saiyans once, they basically spent the spiritual realm lying down. It can be said that they won by lying down. Zhang Anping also received a tip immediately that there were major changes in the number 4 spiritual realm. All awakened people were locked in the spiritual realm. Only by defeating the Saiyans can they return to the real world. What's outrageous is that spirit realm number 4 actually appeared, so powerful that it can destroy enemies on a planet with one blow. What's even more outrageous is that these students actually said that Zhang Lan was the only one, and there was no Ning Tong. He defeated the Saiyans alone, and the spiritual realm rewarded him and Ning Tong with the key to the spiritual realm and 2000 potential points. A star-destroying monster appears in spiritual realm number. 4. Can Zhang Lan defeat this monster alone? Zhang Anping couldn't help but laugh. These students have very rich imaginations. Is there any other key to the spiritual realm? Wait, he seems to have heard of this key to the spiritual realm somewhere. Zhang Anping rubbed his chin with confusion on his face. He had been the director of the Spiritual Realm Administration Bureau for almost five years. He seemed to have heard of some kind of spiritual realm key, but for a while he couldn't remember where he had heard it. While he was thinking hard, a staff member suddenly burst in, panting and shouting loudly. Bureau, Director, Big Event, Spiritual Realm Number 36 has been activated. What? When Zhang Anping heard these words, his expression suddenly changed. The key to the spiritual realm, the fourth spiritual realm, the thirty-sixth spiritual realm, a flash of lightning suddenly flashed in Zhang Anping's mind, he grabbed a closed circuit phone on the table and said urgently. The Ministry of National Defense. I am Zhang Anping. Please send troops immediately to protect Sanjiang City University. Yes, it is urgent. Dot 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 dot. Outside Sanjiang City University, there was an office building not far away. In a spacious and bright conference room, a dozen masked men in black gathered together and stood in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows. They looked coldly at Sanjiang University not far away. When he saw the light flashing in the teleportation circle, six figures appeared in the teleportation circle. The first man, wearing a feathered snake pattern mask, raised an arm, clenched his fist, and said coldly, Confirm that the target has returned to reality. After dark, launch an attack on Sanjiang City University. No one will be spared. He paused for a moment. That bald man is said to be the only inheritor, but he is only a day student. When he leaves school, he will take action. He must be steady and ruthless to defeat the enemy with one strike. A voice behind him sneered. The only inheritance. The only inheritance of D-level. Even if the hero himself is present, he is no match for more than a dozen of us. The room suddenly burst into laughter. Ha ha, the only inheritance. I really want to know this unique inheritance. Forget it, he has no other abilities besides being bald. Did you watch the video of the last talent grading? What about a serious punch and continuous normal attacks? It made me laugh to death. 
Ha ha, indeed, I still have the nerve to say that it is an innate skill. It amused me to death. The room was suddenly filled with a cheerful atmosphere, including even perverted smiles. Number 76, can't you set up a barrier? I want to play with the female college students, especially Ning Tong. I like her very much, Jia Jia. Another slender masked man also laughed ferociously. Then the male college students belong to me. Lemuel frowned and said coldly. Let's get the business done first, and then you can do whatever you want, just be careful not to reveal your identity. One of the masked men said. What are you afraid of? If you anger us, you will massacre the entire Sanjiang city. Then you will attract a few ferocious beasts back and no one will be able to find you. I can't wait any longer. The murderous intention in the house was high, and suddenly, several helicopters and even tanks and armored vehicles flew from the sky and drove into the city brazenly, surrounding Sanjiang City University. Everyone in the room was a little dumbfounded, and someone behind him hesitated. What's going on? Are we exposed? The leading man was silent for a while. Are you a fool? If we are exposed, what's the use of surrounding Sanjiang University, and what's the use of sending these troops here? His eyes flashed and he ordered. Check it out, I feel like there is something wrong with spirit realm number 4 again. Every time these two enter the spirit realm, something will happen. After a while, an old voice spoke slowly from behind him. I just got the latest news through my puppet. Zhang Anping, Yu Ling, and Su Hao will arrive in Sanjiang City in two hours. Do you still want to continue to implement the plan? Yu Ling and Su Hao are two of the three emperors of China, and the two people with the highest combat power in China. The pupils under Lemuel's mask shrank violently. Emperor Yu, Emperor Su, what are they doing in a small place like this? On the 76th, set up the barrier first. Emperor Yu's true spiritual power has exceeded 10,000, and we can easily be discovered by her. Dot 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 dot. Zhang Lan and Ning Tong waited for a while. Instead of waiting for the wave of reporters, they did wait for the border guards. They were stunned for a moment. What happened? Why didn't the reporters come and the army came? Lao Ning also looked heavy. At this moment, his cell phone rang. When he answered, it was Zhang Anping. Old Ning, the army has arrived at the scene. Okay, don't panic. I asked them to protect Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. Ning Zhengxin said doubtfully. Protection, what protection do they need? Zhang Anping said in a deep voice. I can't explain a word or two on the phone, so let's talk about it in person. In about two hours, Yu Ling, Su Hao and I will be at your place. We'll talk about it in person. I'll hang up now. Putting down his phone, Ning Zhengxin looked serious and pondered. Yu Ling, are Su Hao coming? What are they here for? As a former 7th level powerhouse, he had dealt with Yu Ling and Su Hao several times. He had also cooperated in the spiritual realm before, so he was considered an acquaintance. He turned to look at Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. Is there something you didn't tell me? When Zhang Lan and Ning Tong heard what the principal said, they looked at each other cryptically. Ning Tong's heart skipped a beat. Ah, do I have to tell dad that I used my headlights to compare my feelings before I came out? It's so embarrassing. Zhang Lan was calm and thought about it carefully. By the way, the number four spiritual realm seems to have rewarded us with some kind of key to the world. I don't know what it's for. Principal, do you know what this thing is for? Key to the world. When Lao Ning heard this term, his eyes almost popped out of his eyes. You kid actually got the key to the world of number four spiritual realm, and you still act so lightly, what the hell? Lao Ning immediately understood why Zhang Anping, Yu Huang, and Su Huang all mobilized their troops to come to Sanjiang City University. He was once a seventh level strong man. He heard something about the key to the world by chance in a spiritual realm. It is said that special rewards are given to awakened ones only when they are recognized by the spiritual realm. They are very rare. There are rumors that among the three emperors of China, they all achieve their current achievements after possessing the key to the world. No matter how specific it is, he doesn't know. After all, compared to the level of the three emperors, he was just a little shrimp back then and didn't have access to too many secrets. But Lao Ning also knew that this thing was very precious and its value could not be measured by money. The owner of the key to the world, if nothing unexpected happens and he does not die halfway, will definitely be an 8th level powerhouse in the future. 
he couldn't help but shook his head and said to Zhang Lan. I now suspect that your boy's awakened talent may actually have the effect of increasing luck. Do you know how precious a key to the world is? Zhang Lan couldn't help but laugh, my talent plus luck. Your daughter's talent may have the effect of increasing her luck. I don't think the key to the world is very precious. I only experienced four spiritual realms and got one. If you really have to reach the spiritual realm of more than 30 years, you can't just have seven or eight people to play with. He said calmly. It's okay. I don't think it's very precious. Isn't it easy to get one? Lao Ning couldn't help but glare at him and wanted to say a few words to him, but in the face of Zhang Lan's brilliant results, he, a good student who was above average at the time, really couldn't think of anything to say. Zhang Lan is so cool, full marks. In the end, Lao Ning could only say in a deep voice. Emperor Yu and Emperor Su of China are coming soon. You two should prepare and try to leave a good impression on them and build a good relationship with them. You can ask them about spiritual realm strategies in the future. Hearing that Emperor Yu and Emperor Su were coming, Ning Tong's eyes widened and she was filled with excitement. Zhang Lan couldn't help but yawn. He didn't need any spiritual strategy at all. Among Blue Star Awakeners, no one can surpass him in terms of familiarity with the spiritual realm. However, Lao Ning only conquered spiritual realm number 26 back then, and Lao Ning didn't know what the subsequent spiritual realms were like. Even if Zhang Lan is familiar with the plot, he must first know what the spiritual world is like so that he can prepare in advance. For example, the books Liu Bei brought into the spiritual realm this time were of great help when he became a disciple of Turtle Immortal. In this way, there is nothing wrong with establishing a good relationship with the two emperors. Moreover, Zhang Lan was also very interested in one thing. He really wanted to know how these two people called the names of heroes during the awakening ceremony. There were still two hours before Zhang Anping and the others arrived. Seeing that there was nothing going on around him, Zhang Lan took off his clothes and started doing the Saatama exercise method. Focusing on his training, he gradually became completely absorbed and without any distractions. Above the high altitude clouds, stood a white-haired young man with three earrings hanging on one ear. There was always a trace of a bohemian smile on his face. Next to him was a beautiful woman in a chungsam with long hair shawl. If Zhang Lan had been there, he would have been able to recognize that this was the goddess Yu he had seen while hiding in the shelter a few months ago. The two of them were observing him from a distance. Two hours is the time for Zhang Anping to arrive in Sanjiang City, not the time for Su Hao and Yu Ling to arrive. As eighth-level experts, it would take less than three hours for them to reach any place in China. They happened to be driving away the beast tide at the border, and it only took them more than half an hour to reach Sanjiang City. Su Hao observed for a while and raised his eyebrows. Originally, I was a little skeptical about him, but after seeing his training methods, I can confirm that he is the awakened person with D-level talent. Yu Ling, what do you think? Yu Ling closed her eyes and did not answer immediately. After a while, she slowly opened her eyes. Although his potential energy is solid, it is not strong. It is at the third level level. The strongest potential energy in the school is still that girl, but it is only in the middle of the fourth level level. It cannot be expected in the short term. Ever since Zhang Lan mastered breath, he has habitually restricted his strength to the third level. He was surprised to find that after doing this, his hunger came more slowly, which was superimposed with Superman's talent. According to his current increase in hunger, he only needs to eat the spirit meat of ferocious beasts every few days to satisfy his body's needs. But after the battle with Vegeta, he still needed a lot of nutrition. A playful smile appeared on Su Hao's lips. Then how did the two of them get the key to the world at this level? Could it be that Ning Zhengxin has some secret? By the way, Yu Ling, you didn't have the fourth level when you were a freshman. Don't be too harsh. Give them some time, and China will have another emperor. Yu Ling's face showed displeasure. I'm not being harsh, Su Hao, you also know the current situation. If those hidden dangers break out, Blue Star will face a greater crisis than the ferocious beasts. There is not much time left for human beings. Even if she is killed in five years, achievements can far surpass mine, but it's useless. When Su Hao heard Yu Ling's words, he also stopped smiling, with a hint of emotion in his expression. Humanity can't see any hope when it steps through that door. Is it really God who wants to destroy us? 
After saying this, both of them lost interest in talking, closed their eyes, suspended in midair, and waited quietly for Zhang Anping's plane to arrive. While Zhang Lan was exercising, he was thinking about how to add to the 2,000 potential points. If the additional attributes in the Dragon Ball world can be used in the real world, he will definitely increase his energy without hesitation. With a total attribute of more than 12,000 points, he didn't believe he couldn't fly. But, unfortunately, it seems that the additional attributes cultivated in the spiritual time room will only take effect after he returns to the Dragon Ball world. His four attributes are now very even, so in the end, Zhang Lan evenly distributed his potential points among the four attributes. Finally his properties become, Physique, 1722 plus 2190, Spirit, 1722, Strength, 1722 plus 2190, Agility, 1722 plus 2190, Potential Points, 0, Talent 1, Saitama's Talent, Talent 2, Superhuman Talent, Talent 3, Saiyan Talent, Talent Skill 1, Clairvoyance, Talent Skill 2, Thermal Vision, Talent Skill 3, Body of Steel, Talent Skill 4, Turtle Style Qigong, Key to the World, Dragon Ball World, Not Counting Temporary Attribute Points, Zhang Lan's four real attributes combined have now exceeded the 6,500 mark, and will break through the 8,000 mark in another month or two. It's a pity that the four attributes have exceeded 1,700 points, and Zhang Lan has not been able to fly. But this time he was not in a hurry. He had mastered the secret of breath, and he could fly using the Wukong technique. Just as he was lost in thought, Wan Rui suddenly jumped up to him. Zhang Lan swore that she really walked away, but she felt like she was jumping around. Is there a problem? Zhang Lan asked Wan Rui curiously. Wan Rui lowered her head, grabbed her front with both hands, and said with a red face. Brother Lan, I made a wish in spirit realm number. 4. If you can defeat the Saiyans and help me return to the real world alive, I will risk my life once. Zhang Lan felt inexplicably strange. Why would he risk it once? He was about to ask. He saw two people pop up in front of him, Wan Rui's father and mother, they were like two sons, burning his eyes. Ah, my eyes, what do I see? Zhang Lan was stunned and his nosebleed slowly flowed down. Although I knew Wan Rui was good, I didn't expect it to be so good. I guess it was at least F or above, and it didn't sag at all. The effect of peeking through normal clairvoyance eyes is completely different from the effect of releasing it. They are not at the same level at all, okay. Wan Rui fought for a while, then quickly covered her chest, blushed like a monkey's butt, and ran away as fast as she could. Come on, come on, there's a female pervert. Zhang Lan wiped the nosebleed with satisfaction and felt very relieved. I have accumulated virtues and done good deeds throughout my life. This is the blessing I deserve. Originally in the number 4 spiritual realm, he had made a huge profit, and with this love and welfare giveaway, he had made a lot of money. Wan Rui, a girl with a grateful heart, can focus on cultivating her next. He studies and studies all year round, and his eyes suffer a lot of wear and tear. Occasionally, he undergoes eye surgery, which is very effective in maintaining his eyesight. It also made him realize what it means to have a mountain higher than the other. I deeply understand the meaning of being open to all rivers. Today's little girls must have too much nutrition. With the storage capacity of one Rui, it would not be a problem to give birth to 10 children in one litter. The two eighth level experts in the sky also noticed this scene and were stunned. Yu Ling couldn't help but snicker. Su Hao, it seems that this kid is much more popular than you were back then. Su Hao felt that his appearance was challenged, but he had to admit it in a low voice. This boy is indeed a bit more handsome than me. It's normal for him to be favored by girls. Are all female college students these days so well developed? Yu Ling rolled her eyes at him and said in a deep voice. Zhang Anping is here, let's go down. Dot 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 dot. Zhang Anping's helicopter finally arrived over Sanjiang City University after a long flight. It was slowly landing when suddenly the entire fuselage was enveloped in a green light. Everything inside the machine seemed to be frozen in an instant, and it was placed smoothly on the ground without stirring up any dust. Zhang Anping was even moved directly out of the cabin and gently placed on the ground. Lao Ning, who lined up to welcome him, was stunned. 
What was Zhang Ju playing this time? Zhang Anping regained his mobility and coughed awkwardly when he saw Lao Ning's expression. Two people slowly fell from the sky. Standing beside him were Yu Ling and Su Hao. Yu Ling saw Zhang Anping's embarrassment and rarely explained. Seeing that you landed too slowly, I helped you. Although Zhang Anping was a sixth-level powerhouse and the director of the Spiritual Realm Management Bureau, he could only smile awkwardly in front of Yu Ling. I'm sorry to ask you to take action. Yu Ling and Su Hao nodded to Lao Ning. Ning War God, we meet again. Lao Ning also said humbly. In front of you and Emperor Su, I really don't dare to take the title of God of War. It's rare that you two still remember me. It can be seen that Yu Ling has a very strong and proactive personality, she said simply and neatly. Then, let's find a place to chat. Zhang Lan and Ning Tong can come too. Lao Ning led everyone to his office. After closing the door, Zhang Anping said to Ning Tong. For the sake of safety, Ning Tong, you should still use the same ability as last time. Some of what you say next are top secrets. Ning Tong nodded, blue light flashed in his eyes, and the room was gradually surrounded by a void of blue. Yu Ling couldn't help but sigh. The last time I saw this ability was five years ago. Without further ado, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong, I want to confirm whether you have obtained the key to the world in the fourth spiritual realm. Zhang Lan nodded. Anyway, the spirit realm had issued an announcement. Even if he wanted to hide it, there was no point. Moreover, he could just take the opportunity to understand the function of the key to the world. Yu Ling asked next. Very good, Zhang Lan. I heard that you fought a monster that could destroy stars alone in the fourth spiritual realm. If you can enter the 36th spiritual realm, can you still show the same strength? Zhang Lan was confused. What? Spiritual realm number 36. Doesn't it mean that the spiritual realms can only be entered one after another in order? Why do you suddenly ask me about spirit realm number 36? Is there any relationship between spirit realm number 36 and spirit realm number 4? He raised the questions in his mind. Yu Ling smiled apologetically and said, Sorry, I was too anxious and didn't explain things clearly, so I'll start from the beginning. I'll explain the mechanism of the spiritual realm in detail. This will also be helpful for you to conquer the spiritual realm in the future. Yu Ling pondered for a moment. Spiritual realms, you can treat them as independent worlds, but some of them are related. For example, the number 6 spiritual realm you are about to enter next is the same world as the number 12 spiritual realm and the number 18 spiritual realm. But they are in different time periods. If you obtain the world key of the 6th spiritual realm, you can skip the intermediate spiritual realm and directly enter the 12th spiritual realm and the 18th spiritual realm. This is the role of the world key. Quote comma. Zhang Lan nodded, so it turns out that he has obtained a pass to the Dragon Ball world. We originally thought that the 4th spiritual realm was a separate world, but after you repaired the timeline of the 4th spiritual realm, the 36th spiritual realm that had been in a closed state was suddenly fully activated. There is a high probability that the 4th spiritual realm and the 36th spiritual realm spirit realm number 6 is the same world. And now, Wang Zongshu, one of the three emperors, we all call him Uncle Wang, urgently needs to enter the spiritual realm number 36, otherwise he will completely lose his innate power. This was the first time Zhang Lan heard the name of the last of the three emperors, Wang Zongshu, and he couldn't help but wonder. Uncle Wang, have you conquered spirit realm number 36? Is he also one of the three emperors? Why have I never heard of him? Yu Ling nodded. Uncle Wang is one of the first humans to naturally come into contact with the talent stone. He has been stuck at the top of the eighth level for a long time. Due to that restriction, he cannot take a step closer. Uncle Wang's situation is quite special. He can show up, but only for a short time, so he will only take action at critical moments. Zhang Lan thought about it for a while. If the number 36 spiritual realm was really what Yu Ling said, it was only activated after he cleared the number 4 spiritual realm, and it was inevitably connected with the number 4 spiritual realm. Then the world of spiritual realm number 36 is probably the Namek chapter of the Dragon Ball world. In this way, the final boss that spiritual realm number 36 will face is The king of the universe, Frieza, is a monster who has transformed three times with a combat power value of 120 million. 
All the awakened ones on the blue star combined cannot beat him with a single finger. Even if he goes into the time room to practice for another 10 years, he probably won't be a match for Frieza. However, presumably the correct way to clear spirit realm number 36 is to first collect the dragon balls and resurrect Sun Wukong. Then he uses Balin to sacrifice to the sky, inspiring Sun Wukong to become a Super Saiyan, and finally Sun Wukong challenges Frieza. Otherwise, Spirit Realm number 36 will be a hell for everyone. Whoever comes will die. The 8th and 9th levels will be as brittle as a piece of paper in front of Frieza. The 8th level awakened one might not even be able to defeat Frieza's Captain Ginyu. Yu Ling was keenly aware of Zhang Lan's abnormality and asked him. So we came here to inquire about what happened in spiritual realm number 4, and whether it is possible to survive if we enter spiritual realm number 36 with our 8th level strength. Zhang Lan's answer was crisp and clear, making everyone present feel their hearts sink. It's impossible. Every one of us on blue star counts. Whoever goes in will die. Su Hao was shocked and asked Zhang Lan. Why do you say that? Zhang Lan had no choice but to repeat the nonsense he told Lao Ning and the others when he returned, and finally added. I heard that they were going to some Namek planet to find a way to resurrect their companions, but I heard the god say that he felt that there was a powerful enemy on Namek, even stronger than the Saiyans I defeated. Zhang Lan silently calculated in his mind and continued. A thousand times. What? A thousand times. Everyone present opened their mouths and stared at Zhang Lan dumbfounded, even Ning Tong was no exception. What she was thinking at the moment was, Zhang Lan, you've exaggerated too much this time, and I can't help you. However, what everyone didn't know was that Zhang Lan was really not talking nonsense. Frieza's third form has a combat power of 120 million, which is indeed a thousand times higher than Vegeta's transformed giant ape form, which has hundreds of thousands. Such a huge gap in combat power cannot be solved by on-the-spot breakthroughs. Of course, except for races like Saiyans. Even Sun Wukong trained crazily in the gravity chamber, cheated with Kaio Fist, and finally had two Lin sacrifice to the sky. By chance, he finally transformed into a Super Saiyan and defeated Frieza. Su Hao pondered for a moment and asked Yu Ling. If Zhang Lan is right, with Uncle Wang's talent and characteristics, is there a chance? Yu Ling thought for a moment and said, I can't confirm it either. I can only ask Uncle Wang himself. Zhang Lan couldn't help but wonder, what is Uncle Wang's talent? Can it be improved so much in an instant? Yu Ling nodded and said, Uncle Wang's talent is very powerful. He is actually the backbone of China. You will also become the backbone of China in the future. There is no harm in revealing it. She paused and continued, his awakened talent is the 18th in the S-class ranking. In a short period of time, he can improve himself hundreds or even thousands of times. However, there is a side effect, he will turn into a big, green monster. When Zhang Lan heard her talk about the big, green monster, he immediately understood. Isn't that the Hulk's talent? If it were the complete version of the Hulk, he could evolve to the level of World Destroyer. He would be very powerful indeed, but if he faced Frieza, he would probably be a dead end. And Zhang Lan didn't believe that Uncle Wang could develop the Hulk's talent to the limit and reach the level of a world destroyer. He shook his head and said solemnly, I'm afraid not, I have been strengthened by gods. At that time, my strength had surpassed that of the 8th level master of Blue Star. The ultimate boss of the 36th spiritual realm was a thousand times more powerful than my divine dragon state. Several people in the room fell silent immediately. He was a thousand times more powerful than an eighth-level powerhouse. I was afraid that whoever went there would be dead. Su Hao said in a deep voice. We can only tell Uncle Wang the truth about the situation and let him make his own decision. It doesn't matter if he doesn't enter. At least he can spend the rest of his life safely. Yu Ling nodded. That's fine, but without the top combat power of Uncle Wang, the Divine Punishment Organization may be ready to take action. Zhang Lan heard the word. God's punishment, and immediately became concerned. He hesitated. Does Uncle Wang have anything to do with the Divine Punishment Organization? To be honest, we have encountered the killers of the Divine Punishment Organization several times in the spiritual realm. Yu Ling glanced at Ning Tong with a look of understanding on her face and said, The strongest person in the Divine Punishment Organization is named Gabriel. Like Uncle Wang, 
He is an 8th level top powerhouse and the first batch of naturally awakened people. He has always been afraid of Uncle Wong, so he did not dare to go to China. There is vigorous development within the country. Zhang Lan couldn't help but ask again. From what you say, Ms. Yu, Uncle Wong is the strongest person in China, right? How is the talent ranking determined? Yu Ling nodded. Uncle Wong is indeed the strongest person in China, but his explosion requires a huge price, so he hasn't done talent grading for a long time. At our level, talent ranking is no longer important. As you develop your talent abilities, you can faintly perceive the names and preferences of the inherited heroes. For example, I only recently learned that my talent hero is called Tatsumaki. Zhang Lan understood that as their talents developed, they gradually sensed the hero's true name. And when he comes up, he directly tells the hero's real name, which can be said to be done in one step, eliminating the need for a slow process of getting used to it. Zhang Lan still has a question. Ms. Yu, when you awakened your talent, what was the name of the hero you called? Yu Ling's face suddenly looked unnatural. The talent manual back then recorded a green-haired little girl without underwear. I thought it was not very elegant, so I changed it to a green-haired heroine with both beauty and strength. Zhang Lan understood. He thought of the names of Teacher Saitama and Teacher Superman, and couldn't help but sigh. The people who wrote the talent manual back then were really fearless. Yu Ling agreed deeply and nodded. It is impossible to verify who actually wrote the first version, but after so many years of actual combat testing, the current talent level is still relatively accurate, and it is rare for fish to slip through the net. Zhang Lan nodded. He had also seen D-level talents afterwards. Except for the talents of Teacher Saitama and Teacher Superman, the other talents were ridiculously weak. For example, the vomit has the ability to corrode, can turn into a weasel, and can separate its arms from the body to attack enemies. These are the most useless talents. It is not unfair at all to be placed in the D-level. Zhang Lan thought for a while and said embarrassedly, Ms. Yu, let me ask one last question. What standards are used to determine the order of spiritual realms? Why does it seem unreasonable the more spiritual realms I pass? Ms. Yu and Su Hao looked at each other and shook their heads. There should be only a few people in China who know this question well, and Uncle Wang should be one of them, but every time I ask him this question, he refuses to answer. Su Hao raised his eyebrows helplessly. It's not just you. Looking back now, we also feel that the order of the spiritual realms was unreasonable, which caused us to miss many opportunities. For example, in the third spiritual realm, when I was the weakest, I challenged such a powerful boss in four battles. I almost died back then. Zhang Lan also felt the same way. The combat power level of number. Four spiritual realm was simply off the charts. I really don't know who was so crazy and ranked Dragon Ball Vegeta chapter number 4 in the first place. Yu Ling's expression became serious. This time, I have something else to tell you. Zhang Lan nodded. Please tell me, Yu Ling said. Judging from the first four spiritual realms, the combination of you and Ning Tong has the strength to completely conquer the spiritual realms. You must be careful when making important decisions. She then revealed a secret that shocked Zhang Lan. Do you know where the ferocious beasts all over the world come from? An idea flashed in Zhang Lan's mind, and his eyes widened in surprise. It's difficult, isn't it? Yu Ling nodded and continued. The dimensional passage where the ferocious beasts descended is another world. In addition to endless ferocious beasts, there are also relics of human civilization, and even huge broken mechas were found. She paused and slowly came to a shocking conclusion. Everything shows that the world of ferocious beasts was most likely a spiritual realm. Zhang Lan's eyes widened immediately. Huge monsters, human buildings, and huge broken mechas. If he guessed correctly, the world of ferocious beasts is Pacific Rim. In this way, all the ferocious beasts on Blue Star now should come from the world of Pacific Rim. I don't know what happened in that world. The world was destroyed and humans became extinct, which caused the spiritual realm to collapse and ferocious beasts to emerge from it, causing Blue Star's current situation. Zhang Lan suddenly took a breath of air. If the collapse of the spiritual realm would cause this situation, then the current 100, ah, 99 spiritual realms are all time bombs. If it is a low-level spiritual realm like Biohazard, it would be easier to handle. But if a super martial arts world like Dragon Ball collapses, then Blue Star will be completely doomed. 
Frieza, Cell, Majin Buu, any one of them would come to the blue star, and humans wouldn't be able to eat it. After Yu Ling said these words, she kept observing Ning Tong and Zhang Lan. After hearing these words, she saw Ning Tong just blinking with her big beautiful eyes, looking innocent and cute, and she immediately understood that Ning Tong should not be the dominant one between the two. Looking at Zhang Lan's expression, it can be said that he is possessed by a movie king. He is glaring and gasping at the same time, although the expression is a bit exaggerated. But Yu Ling instantly realized that regardless of their strength, Zhang Lan should always be the one making the decision between the two of them. Most of the victory over the four spiritual realms was due to Zhang Lan. She continued to talk to Zhang Lan. So, you understand, when making decisions in the spiritual realm, you must be careful, otherwise it may bring endless trouble to Blue Star. Zhang Lan said strangely, what situation would lead to the spiritual realm monsters invading Blue Star? I killed all the big bosses in the number one spiritual realm, and I didn't see anything unusual. Yu Ling frowned her delicate eyebrows and said, we haven't figured out the specific circumstances that will cause spiritual monsters to invade Blue Star. We just have to try not to go too far. Zhang Lan disagrees. If any spiritual realm invades reality, I will kill them all. Su Hao still refused to give up and asked Zhang Lan. If the two of us and Uncle Wang take you with us, is it possible to pass through the number 36 spiritual realm? Zhang Lan shook his head helplessly and said no. He secretly cursed in his heart. It's just the three of you. Together, you can't even defeat Captain Ginyu. You can't even reach Frieza's level. Why don't you just be your martial emperor on Blue Star? You have to rush to death. Yu Ling and Su Hao looked at each other and saw that they had asked all they wanted to know. Then they stood up to leave and expressed their gratitude to Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. That's it, that's it for today. As a thank you, if you have any questions in the future, you can contact us at any time. The two left their contact information and were about to leave with Zhang Anping. Ning Tong suddenly remembered something, took out the combat effectiveness detector and handed it to Zhang Anping. Director Zhang, the combat effectiveness detector you want. Zhang Anping took it over in surprise. I really got it, great. Now I finally have a reliable combat power detection tool. For those who are strong at level 7 or above, conventional detection methods are basically ineffective. He was afraid that the precious combat power detector would be damaged, so he carefully took out a metal box, put the detector inside, and said happily. You have been of great help this time. I will give this thing to the old guys at the Chinese Academy of Sciences later. In a few months, the awakened people of China will be equipped with combat power detectors in batches. When fighting against ferocious beasts and hostile organizations, you can know yourself and the enemy, and take advantage of the enemy. Zhang Lan chuckled. For the warriors in the Dragon Ball world, the combat power detector was pure garbage and was far less useful than the breath sensor. After he learned to control his breath, the combat power detector could not detect his true combat power at all. Only the values he wants to display can be displayed. Zhang Lan thought for a while and said to Yu Ling and Su Hao. Uncle Wang, if I can wait a few more months, I can try to see if I can go to spiritual realm number 36 with him. Yu Ling smiled bitterly and shook her head. Thank you for your kindness, but I'm afraid it's too late. I'll take my leave. Everyone, the pressure from the beast tide on the border is great, and our time is precious. Su Hao turned around and looked at Zhang Landau seriously. I don't know why, but a warrior's intuition tells me that you are very strong. Grow up as soon as possible, Zhang Lan, there is not much time left for us humans. After saying that, green light erupted from Yu Ling and Su Hao's bodies, directly broke through the sky, and disappeared. Zhang Anping held Lao Ning's hand and expressed gratitude. Xiao Ning, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong have really made great contributions this time. I promised you two small goals last time, and I will increase them to five small goals for you. The ferocious beast spiritual meat will be increased to 500 kilograms. In addition, what do you have? If you need anything, you can come to me anytime. Lao Ning was overjoyed and shook Zhang Anping's hand gratefully. There was a lot of love between the two old men. Zhang Ju, you are so polite. Please stay and have a meal before leaving. My craftsmanship is quite good. Zhang Anping stroked the metal box in his arms and said, No, I have to send this thing to the Chinese Academy of Sciences to feel at ease. 
There will be many opportunities in the future. With Ning Tong here, I will inevitably trouble you. After saying that, Zhang Anping got on the helicopter and left in a hurry. As he left, the border guards also evacuated the scene. After all, Sanjiang City is not big. If there is any accident, it will not take five minutes for the army to rush over. Zhang Lan watched Zhang Anping leave. He turned his head, his smiling face disappeared, and he looked at a tall building not far away with a solemn expression. When Yu Ling and Su Hao left just now, he wanted to confirm whether Yu Ling was wearing fat clothes out of curiosity. When he opened his clairvoyant eyes, he was immediately disappointed. Yu Ling's whole body was surrounded by a layer of green light, so that he could only see the graceful curves, but could not see the details, such as Mao Mao. Zhang Lan thought helplessly, you have high mental power, you can really do whatever you want. But at the same time, with his peripheral vision, he noticed that there were a bunch of skeletons gathered on the tall building next to them, looking towards them. But when he switched to the breath detection method, he couldn't find these people. Zhang Lan immediately realized that something was wrong. Superman's clairvoyance was an absolute physical clairvoyance, while his breath sensing was more spiritual. These people can be seen by Superman's clairvoyance, but cannot be sensed by their breath. There is only one explanation, they must have used some innate skills to hide themselves. Such a familiar technique, he had encountered at once in the number. Two spiritual realm, the bow-legged man from Fuso Kingdom also had this skill. Zhang Lan immediately concluded that these people were most likely killers from the God's Punishment Organization. They dared to kill them in the real world, so they must have been fully prepared. But, it's a pity that he accidentally broke it. The killers of the Divine Punishment Organization had not been activated before, probably because they were taboo about the presence of the two emperors. With the departure of the two emperors, these people must have been ready to make a move. However, no matter whether the two emperors left, he could take the opportunity to practice and become familiar with the Guixian style of martial arts in actual combat. Being able to fly freely in the sky has always been his wish. Wake up, God's punishment organization, I will become your nightmare. Zhang Lan's figure gradually disappeared into the school building. A few minutes later, a figure, wearing a gray-blue battle suit and a red cloak, soared into the sky. Many people in black watched Yu Ling and Su Hao leave. They breathed a sigh of relief, and the man with the snake-shaped pattern at the head said solemnly. Don't worry, first confirm the whereabouts of Yu Ling and Su Hao, and also ask informants in the school to observe the whereabouts of the bald man. After a while, reports were received one after another that Yu Huang and Su Huang had returned to the border to resist the beast tide, and there was no trace of Zhang Lan in the school. The people in black couldn't hold it any longer. Let's do it, Lord Lemuel. Changes will happen later, don't hesitate, Lord Lemuel. The leader of the masked man's eyes flashed with a hint of cruelty, and he said coldly. Then cut off all communications in Sanjiang City and cancel the stance of dispersing the beasts. Since we have decided to take action during the day, let Sanjiang City be buried with us. Someone behind him hesitated. Would this be too public? There's no guarantee that it won't be discovered. Lemuel sneered. After this is done, do you still want to return to China? After this is done, Gabriel promises to increase the originality of our talents by at least 30%. As soon as he finished saying this, the many men in black behind him began to breathe heavily. A masked man stuck out his scarlet tongue and licked it around. Let's get started, I can't wait. Gia Gia, the man named Lemuel had a hint of coldness in his eyes. Very good, activate the barrier. Everyone, let's kill as much as you like. A man behind him suddenly appeared in his hand with a long black knife, and he shouted. Swastika, open. The long knives spread out one by one and turned into square pieces, smashing through the window glass at regular intervals, shrouding the Sanjiang University teaching building, dormitory building and this building. The man shouted lowly. Bound down number. 81. The sky-breaking barrier is established. As soon as he finished speaking, Countless dark yellow light curtains appeared between the squares, which looked slow but were actually very fast. In the blink of an eye, the three buildings were completely enveloped by six-sided walls of light, preventing even sunlight from penetrating in, and they were completely separated from the outside world. In the barrier, the air became dark yellow and twisted, as if the underworld had descended into the world. 
Around Sanjiang City University, there were many reporters waiting for the troops to withdraw and interview Zhang Lan. After finally waiting for the troops to withdraw, they were about to rush into the campus when they suddenly saw a huge square shit yellow barrier suddenly appear. Like a prison cell, some buildings of Sanjiang University are tightly shrouded. The reporters were immediately stunned. They were so stunned that the microphones in their hands fell to the ground. It looks like a barrier technique. At this scale, I'm afraid it requires a seventh-level awakened person of the special system to be able to perform it. You're crazy, who dares to cast such a large-scale barrier spell in the city? It's broken, something big must have happened. Call the police. Soon, the police station and the army arrived one after another. Some awakened people tried to attack the barrier, but all attacks were bounced back. This dark yellow light curtain was as hard as the wall of size and unbreakable. The police station tried to ask for help from the imperial capital and the magic capital, but found that the communications in Sanjiang city had been completely cut off. An emotion called uneasiness fermented in the hearts of everyone in Sanjiang city. Dot 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 dot. After the masked man used the space ceiling technique, he knelt down on one knee and gasped for air. Within two hours, no one can break this barrier unless I die. Everyone, enjoy the killing. The many men in black behind them were impatient. The delicious bodies of the college students had already made these scums salivate, not to mention Ning Tong, who was also known as the goddess. They smashed through the glass one after another and jumped out from the ten-story building, laughing loudly and weirdly. Ha ha ha, here we come, little cubs. Lao Ning was teaching his classmates in the classroom. He was keenly aware of the changes in the light outside. In an instant, the sunny afternoon outside the house turned into the black and yellow silence of the end of the world. His expression changed drastically. This was Soul Society's barrier technique. He immediately shouted loudly, Ning Tong. Ning Tong was not in the classroom. After sending Zhang Anping away, Ning Tong felt a little tired and did not attend class. She went back to the dormitory to rest. As soon as he finished speaking, the wall was pushed open by a huge force, and a tall, muscular, masked man in black robe broke into the classroom with a sinister smile. He glanced at the students in the room and showed a satisfied smile. Very good, there are a lot of fresh meats. I'm going to have a feast today. At this moment, a girl in white, her whole body emitting blue light, flew over. As an awakener of space and gravity abilities, Ning Tong is extremely sensitive to changes in space. The moment the barrier was established, she immediately woke up from her sleep. Ning Tong was keenly aware that something was wrong. She didn't bother to put on shoes and flew to the classroom barefoot. The masked man saw Ning Tong and her iconic azure creature stance. He shouted suddenly, his voice full of surprise. Ning Tong is here. Following his call, more than a dozen black shadows quickly approached from the air and the ground. Judging from their movement speed, they are all masters of no less than level 5. Lao Ning's heart instantly sank to the bottom of the sea. This time it was completely over. Last time, Zhang Ju said that he wanted to provide Ning Tong with personal bodyguards but Ning Tong refused. Now it seems that he really regrets it, but with the posture of God's punishment, even one or two sixth-level masters can't protect Ning Tong. It's his fault for being careless. He didn't expect the beasts of God's punishment to be so insane. Regardless of the risk of their identity being exposed, they dared to launch an attack in the real world, and they also sent out so many people at once. It was obvious that the men in black in front of them were the secret agents of the Divine Punishment Organization within China. As soon as Emperor Yu and Emperor Su left, they suddenly launched an attack. It was obvious that they had insiders in the government. He also knew the surrounding barrier, known as the Wall of Size, which could never be broken before the death of the caster. In other words, these second-level and third-level students in their school had to face more than a dozen fifth-level and sixth-level masters. The result can be imagined, they must have been tortured to death one by one. Even if Yu Ling and Su Haocha discovered something unusual and rushed back immediately, they would not be able to break through the barrier in a short time. Lao Ning's expression showed a trace of calmness. He took out a tube of injection from his underwear pocket. The transparent needle revealed a crystal purple liquid, with shining light spots constantly swimming in it. Ning Zhengxin said to Ning Tong, You take the students into the hidden space. I will resist them for a while. They are making such a big noise. 
Emperor Yu and Emperor Su should be here soon, and you will be saved by then. Ning Tong's expression changed drastically. She shook her head and begged Ning Zhengxin. No, Dad, wait a little longer, Zhang Lan will come to save us. Lao Ning chuckled calmly. Zhang Lan, it's useless. Their posture must have taken into account the combat power of you and Zhang Lan. Zhang Lan may have even encountered an accident outside. Tong Tong, Dad can't be with you in the future. Take good care of yourself. With that said, Lao Ning raised the needle and resolutely pierced his heart. Lemuel, who was floating in the air, changed his expression and shouted. Stop him. But it was too late, and the needle in Ning Zheng's hand was about to pierce his heart. Sudden, there was a ding sound, and the needle in Lao Ning's hand seemed to be stuck on the steel plate. The needle was completely bent and could no longer be used. Everyone's eyes were dazzled when a strong man, wearing a gray-blue shirt, a red cloak, and a head of thick black hair, appeared in front of everyone. It was him who stretched out his hand to block Lao Ning's needle from stabbing his heart. He glared at Lao Ning, grabbed the needle, and complained. As you get older, you should take good care of your health. Why do you fight and kill every day? If I were to be late, you would be dead. Lao Ning hesitated. Who are you? Zhang Lan's face froze, remembering that he was now in the form of Superman's body of steel. He said those words just now in Zhang Lan's tone out of desperation. No wonder Lao Ning was confused. He coughed. I am Tong Tong's friend. I found out that you were in danger and came to save you. Tong Tong. Everyone present was confused. Why was this man so close to senior sister Ning Tong? Could it be that senior Ning Tong had some hidden secrets with him behind Zhang Lan's back? Among the group of classmates behind him, someone had already recognized Zhang Lan's form. Wan Rui's face was flushed, and she waved her arms at him, with two giant car lights shining back and forth, making Zhang Lan feel dizzy. It's Superman, the Superman who is more handsome than Zhang Lan, the man of my dreams, Uncle Superman, my car lights are on for you. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E this sentence immediately caused dissatisfaction between the two people. Zhang Lan opened her mouth in surprise. What kind of talk is this? The car lights are on for me. Will you risk your life every time you see me in the future? Also, Uncle Superman, I'm the same age as you, okay. I sound like a weird uncle spying on a little girl's obesity. Ning Tong couldn't help but glare at Wan Rui, your dream lover, Zhang Lan and Superman are all mine, okay. Even if your headlights are bigger than mine, don't try to take away Zhang Lan and Superman. No, they are the same person and they are both mine. A strange possessiveness was fermenting. Ning Tong's pretty face was serious as she introduced Lao Ning seriously. Dad, this is my boyfriend, Superman. Ah, the students around, including the people in black, were all shocked. No way, Ning Tong, aren't you and Zhang Lan a couple? Why are you suddenly getting involved with this Superman again and claiming that Superman is your boyfriend? Although this Superman looks very handsome, with beautiful black hair and bigger muscles, it is not unfair to Zhang Lan. Lao Ning remembered the last time he saw a bright red color in the kitchen. When he compared it with Zhang Lan's current form, he suddenly realized it and couldn't help but lamented. It turns out that you have been hiding this from me so hard. Zhang Lan and Ning Tong were shocked. Did Lao Ning discover that Zhang Lan and Superman were the same person? Although the enemy was at hand, Lao Ning couldn't help but say, Tong Tong, you are a bad learner. How can you stand in two different places? This guy named Superman doesn't have a good reputation either. He's still a monogrammer. You should break up with him as soon as possible. The people in black next to them watched the family ethics drama and were fascinated for a moment. After all, everyone has a gossipy heart and forgot to launch an attack. They were thinking in their hearts. It's so exciting. Are college students so open-minded nowadays? Looking at the fair and tender little girl, he actually talked to two people at the same time, one of whom is a mixed letter circle. Wow, this is such a fun time. I didn't expect Ning Tong to like this. After a while, I was even more reluctant to kill her. Unfortunately, she was the sacrifice designated by Lord Gabriel and had to die. Lemuel suddenly woke up. Why is this family in such a mess? What are we doing? What kind of bloody situation is this? We are here to kill people, not to watch a bloody ethics drama. His breath was a little unsteady and he shouted angrily. 
What are you doing? Kill them without any further delay. These black-clothed talents woke up one after another, and the masked muscular man who first broke into the classroom said with a ferocious smile. You dare to call me Superman. I'm here to have some fun with you. He shouted angrily, and his body swelled up, turning into a giant three meters tall. His skin turned red, and the lumps were bulging, as hard as rock. How about it, boy, I won't kill you for a while, I will love you very much. Before they finished speaking, everyone felt their eyes blurred, and then heard a bang in their ears. A loud noise. Looking at the muscular man again, he had disappeared. There was only a long line of blood on the ground, indicating that there was indeed someone standing here just now, saying that he wanted to play with the man named Superman. Zhang Lan said calmly with a calm face. Are you worthy of playing with me? At this time, the barrier behind the man in black made a loud bang, and a large bloody human shape was printed. Many people in black turned their heads and glanced, their eyes suddenly widened. Only then did they realize that the muscular man just now was probably punched to pieces by the man named Superman in front of them, and his body was shattered into pieces. Lemuel's pupils shrank violently, and he knew he was facing a tough situation. Although the dead muscular man was masked, as the leader of the operation, he knew everyone's identity. The sixth-level powerhouse of the Chinese nation, the red tank with S-28 talent, the awakened person of the enhanced system, Chao Zhe, was just punched into a mural. Chapter 111 Lemuel growled, everyone spread out an attack from a distance. He is an awakener of the strengthening system. The best way to deal with an enhanced awakener is to keep a distance from him, use long-range attacks to limit his movements, and then slowly wear him to death. If you can fly and keep moving at high speed, you will basically be invincible against those with enhanced awakening abilities. Awakened people of the strengthening system generally have high strength and constitution, but their other attributes are all rubbish. After all, no one has so many rich potential points that can advance all four attributes at the same time. Many men in black used their abilities and flew into the air. The few who couldn't fly roared, turned around and ran away. Zhang Lan smiled contemptuously. Before, Vegeta flew into the sky, and he was helpless. That was because Vegeta flew high enough. But these men in black are flying around within the barrier at a height of less than a hundred meters, buzzing like flies. Are they looking down on me? Okay, then I will play with you for a while until you despair. Zhang Lan said to Ning Tong, You should take the principal and classmates into the hiding space first and come out in 30 minutes. It should be solved. Ning Tong nodded and hummed. After clearing the fourth spiritual realm, she gained another 2,000 potential points. Now her mental attributes have reached over 4,000. Even if she covers the entire class, she won't feel strenuous. As her ability was activated, a blue light enveloped the entire classroom, and everyone, except Zhang Lan, disappeared before the eyes of the man in black. Lemuel watched Ning Tong disappear in front of his eyes without any disturbance in his heart. There are awakeners in their team who are specifically targeting Ning Tong's space ability. As long as they deal with the man in front of him who calls himself Superman, it will be easy to break through Ning Tong's hidden space. He said coldly, Superman, right, you'll regret it soon, attack. A man in black was the first to attack, condensing ice balls with his left hand and fire balls with his right hand, and shot them towards Zhang Lan. Zhang Lan's eyes suddenly lit up. The attack method of the man in black reminded him of a certain deceased old classmate. Ape Dong, let's start with you. Dai, Zhang Lan slowly squatted down, and with a loud sound, his figure suddenly appeared in front of the man in black as if teleporting. The man in black's pupils shrank violently, and before he could react, he saw a huge fist occupying the entire world. With a loud bang, the man in black completely disappeared from his neck down, leaving only his head, which fell to the ground. The mask slipped off, revealing the face of a middle-aged man with a dead look on his face, his eyes wide open and full of fear. Zhang Lan deliberately kept his head so that he could follow the clues later and find out what secrets the Divine Punishment Organization had in China. If they're all beaten to a pulp, wouldn't there be no evidence? Seeing the middle-aged man die tragically with one move, Lemuel shouted sharply. Everyone move at high speed and attack with all your strength. Don't think about retaining your strength, otherwise you will all die here. There were two people in the air. They stretched out their hands and shouted lowly. Suddenly, 
thunder and ice swam on the surface of Zhang Lan's body. These are the shackle skills called lightning confinement and frost invasion, which can restrict the actions of those who are awakened in the strengthening system. Zhang Lan slowly clenched his fists and felt that the surface of his body was cold and comfortable, without any abnormal feeling. There was a sneer on the corner of his mouth, pretending to be unable to move and panicked. Lemuel was ecstatic and shouted, Very good, we've restrained him, everyone is firing on all cylinders. For a moment, all kinds of supernatural powers flew towards Zhang Lan, and even a few escaped awakeners turned back to kill him. The people in black showed ecstatic faces. Ha ha, you're dead now. A rough hewn reinforced system will be doomed once it's controlled. Mental abilities, claustrophobic space, elemental abilities, thunder from the sky, strengthening abilities, a critical blow. All the men in black showed off their famous stunts and did not dare to hold anything back. Everyone covered their faces for fear of being recognized by others, but in the face of Zhang Lan's powerful strength, these men in black couldn't care so much. Let's kill Zhang Lan first and then think about the future. Dozens of attacks hit Superman's body almost at the same time. With the continuous banging sound, various energies collided violently in the center of the playground, causing a large amount of smoke and dust to rise. The people in black looked happy. Ha ha, you idiot, you only have an enhanced guy with brute strength, now you are dead. No matter how strong you are, it's of no use. If you can't hit anyone, it's all useless. As the smoke gradually dissipated, the smiles on the faces of all the men in black gradually solidified, and their pupils shrank violently. I saw a big crater in the middle of the playground. In the middle of the crater, a man named Superman was standing there, unscathed, not even a scratch on his clothes. There was white aura around his body forming an oval-shaped shield. The air flow continued to flow, making a sizzling sound in the air. Turtle Immortal Style, Explosive Body Protection if Zhang Lan wasn't afraid that the number three spirit realm's protective suit would be damaged, he wouldn't even bother to explode. The attacks from these people were like tickling him, unable to harm his steel body at all. In fact, it's not appropriate to just talk about the man of steel. After all, at this moment, his body contains the three talents of Saitama, Superman, and Saiyan. He doesn't know what the specific defense power is. It was when facing Yu Ling and Su Hao that he could faintly feel a hint of threat. If a Saiyan's talent really doubles his near-death attributes, he may not be able to activate them in his lifetime. There was a lot of cold sweat on Lemuel's forehead. He had used all his strength in the blow just now, but he didn't even break the man's clothes. And what is the aura around him? Why has he never heard of any talent that can bring this kind of ability? Facing an enemy with unknown capabilities and unknown strength, the best plan is to retreat first, investigate clearly, and then slowly figure it out. Before he could react, Zhang Lan launched a series of normal attacks, and there were several bang 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 sounds. The bodies of several enhancement type awakeners around Zhang Lan exploded instantly, and they died violently. A few heads were left, rolling around on the ground. Lemuel was even more frightened. He knew that if he didn't escape, they would all die here. There was a major error in the intelligence. There was such a powerful awakened person hidden in Sanjiang City, and no intelligence mentioned it. Moreover, he is Ning Tong's boyfriend. The relevant intelligence personnel should really die. That spy among the students will turn him into pieces if he turns around. No, two months ago, the Five Elements Alliance submitted a report called Talent Rating for Superman Men. At that time, he thought it was a joke. The report mentioned that the man named Superman had reached level 6. Looking at it now, he might have reached level 7. He turned his head and roared in the direction of the tall building. On the 76th, cancel the barrier, stop the plan, and everyone retreats. Zhang Lan laughed. Don't bother, he's worse off than you are now. The reason why Zhang Lan was almost late just now was because he was dealing with this barrier master. Number 76 lying on the floor of the conference room, his arms and legs twisted in unnatural postures, and even his jaw had been removed by Zhang Lan. Hearing Lemuel's roar, he struggled and let out meaningless screams. Hey, well, ah. On the 76th, his whole body ached with big beads of sweat. He couldn't even move a finger now. As soon as Lemuel and the others left, the man named Superman came in, approached him quietly, and then crushed all his bones with a clean cut. 
Although he is a special type barrier master and does not have very strong combat power, he is still a 7th level awakener with a physical constitution of over 800 points. This man crushed all his bones as easily as plasticine, and put him into a twisted position at will, making him unable to move at all. Zhang Lan did this because he was afraid that these people would take the opportunity to escape. After all, it is rare for killers from the God's Punishment Organization to come to your door on their own initiative. They should all be in important positions. If any one of them escapes, it will cause endless troubles. Zhang Lan finally had the opportunity to uproot the worms in the Chinese Divine Punishment Organization, so how could he let this killing feast end so early? Although he is now close to the 8th level, he still has family and friends. The Divine Punishment Organization was like a poisonous spider hiding in the dark. The spider web involved various departments. He had to be on guard at all times. The garbage of the God's Punishment Organization is best at attacking other people's relatives. If there is a slight mistake, Zhang Lan will regret it. Having watched Superman movies, he knows the importance of hiding one's identity. Villains have no moral bottom line and they can do anything. Superman has had to succumb to evil people many times because his mother's girlfriend was kidnapped. He will never allow this to happen to him. Therefore, at this stage, he must not reveal his identity. Unless one day, Blue Star is at peace and the Divine Punishment Organization is completely destroyed, then he can consider revealing his identity to the world. Anyway, he now has the form of Superman's Man of Steel, and he uses his Superman form to do all the things that make him stand out. This will ensure that his family and friends will not be used as hostages. Seeing that there was no response to Lemuel's call to number 76, his heart gradually sank to the bottom. He understood that he must have been cut off by the man in front of him. He turned his head and said to another graceful masked man, Number 89, can your teleportation ability be activated? This masked man is their reserved means of retreat. After killing all the students at Sanjiang University, they will collectively teleport to the assembly point and then flee to the Overseas Divine Punishment Organization. Number 89 shook his head. After the sky-breaking barrier is established, it becomes a world of its own. Unless the barrier is lifted, I can only teleport within the barrier. Lemuel couldn't help but glare at her. It's useless to be able to teleport within the barrier. If you want to teleport, you might as well fly here as fast as I can. We can only wait for the barrier to be lifted automatically, he ordered. Everyone moves quickly, with self-preservation as the first battle plan. If you see number 76, kill him. The people in black immediately started flying at high speed, and they all secretly rejoiced that it was great to be able to fly. Those who couldn't fly were all beaten to death by Zhang Lan. Zhang Lan was a little irritated when he saw the men in black flying around like flies in the sky. If they found number 76 and the barrier was lifted, wouldn't they all run away? After he transformed just now, he had already tried the Wukong technique. He could fly easily by releasing his breath, but because he had just learned it, he was not very skilled yet. It's inconvenient to use them to show off during the battle, so he recently thought of a new trick, so he tried it with these flies. Zhang Lan slowly spun in circles, and soon, a tornado formed with him as the center. The people in black were all shocked. What is this man doing? Is he going to use a tornado to suck us all in? They underestimate us too much. After all, we are all 5th level and 6th level experts. It would be ridiculous if we could be sucked in by such a tornado. Suddenly two points of red light lit up in the tornado. Before the people in black could react, the red light suddenly shined through, forming a powerful laser-like beam of light. Wherever it went, all the houses and trees were cut into two sections. Lemuel's eyes widened. What kind of skill was this? Wherever the red laser went, nothing could resist it for a second. Coupled with this man's high-speed rotation, it can be called a battlefield meat grinder. As Zhang Lan rotated faster and faster, the entire barrier was almost filled with red lasers. Then, the world finally became quiet, leaving only the sound of pieces of meat falling to the ground. Zhang Lan slowly stopped turning. He was broken. He couldn't control his speed. He seemed to have exerted too much force and cleared the area with one move. Fortunately, the leader in the air didn't die. I don't know whether it was luck or special protective skills. He just had a broken leg. At his level, 
he should not be planted with suicide bombs by Lu Shan. He can be questioned and questioned later. At this moment, suddenly a blue light flashed through the classroom, and Ning Tong and a group of classmates slowly emerged. Zhang Lan felt a little puzzled. Why did you come out in less than half an hour? Ning Tong was quite obedient before, why did she suddenly become stubborn this time? Dot 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 dot. Things started when Ning Tong used the hidden space. After Ning Tong put all the students into the hidden space, Lao Ning looked distressed and blamed himself in his heart. It's because I didn't raise my daughter well. She has learned to tread two boats. He thought about it for a long time and finally couldn't help but said to Ning Tong. Tong Tong, I will let you do whatever else you want, but I firmly disagree with you and Superman talking about being friends. Ning Tong opened her mouth and widened her eyes, feeling helpless. Dad, what are you talking about? Superman is Zhang Lan. I fell in love with a person twice, and why can't it work? One is clear and handsome, and the other is handsome and mature. This is what many girls dream of. However, Zhang Lan's superhuman form required her to keep her identity secret, so she could only purse her pretty lips and say nothing. Fortunately, Wan Rui comes to join in the fun again. Yes, Sister Tong, it's unfair for you to treat Brother Zhang Lan like this. You already have Brother Zhang Lan, so give us a chance. After saying that, he shook a few times intentionally or unintentionally, the child's granary. Ning Tong couldn't bear it immediately, she glared at Wan Rui and said angrily. Why don't you just have bigger breasts? Don't even dream of having anything to do with Superman. He is already mine. Ah, the more everyone listened, the more surprised they became. Why do you call me my person? Senior sister Ning Tong, are you so open-minded? Are we really allowed to listen to this kind of thing without paying? Wan Rui sneered and glanced at Ning Tong's chest. You didn't see the way Superman looked at me just now, always focused on my chest. He just likes me. Lao Ning quickly persuaded the two of them. Okay, okay, stop arguing, Tong Tong, you have Zhang Lan, forget about Superman. Ning Tong was even more unhappy. Okay, Dad, you can speak for Wan Rui too, why would Zhang Lan peek at Wan Rui's chest? It's all nonsense. Liang Yu, a 25-year-old boy, was already nervous and covered in sweat. When he heard Ning Tong and Wan Rui arguing, he couldn't hold back at all. Liang Yu gritted his teeth and brazenly opened the front of his shirt, revealing the densely packed bombs strapped to his chest. He roared, Shut up, everyone, what do you think this is? After everyone turned their attention, he smiled ferociously. You didn't expect it. I am a person of divine punishment. Ning Tong, you are going to die today. Clear the space for me, otherwise I will detonate the bomb and everyone will die. When the students saw the bomb tied to his body, they immediately understood that Liang Yu was a spy sent by the killer. Ning Tong also looked nervous. She didn't expect that the classmates around her would be punished by God. If she still maintains a hidden space, once the bomb explodes, she may not be fine, but other classmates and her father will suffer heavy casualties. Out of helplessness, Ning Tong had to slowly remove the hidden space. Liang Yu was covered in sweat, holding the detonator in his hand, and said with a sinister smile. Lord Lemuel, I succeeded in getting Ning Tong to cancel the hidden space. I must have made a great contribution. Suddenly his expression became dull. In front of him, there was only the man named Superman, with red light in his eyes, looking at him coldly. As for the people of the Divine Punishment Organization, except Lord Lemuel, everyone else has disappeared. It would not be accurate to say that they were completely missing. After all, the squirming and groaning pieces of flesh all over the floor could still be seen that not long ago, they should have been part of the human race. Moreover, the original teaching building of Sanjong University has completely disappeared. All around them were the remains of broken arms, as if someone had cut them with a sharp blade, turning them into pieces. Several classmates who had not experienced brutal killings immediately couldn't help but vomited. Liang Yu suddenly understood what happened, and he was trembling. How, how is it possible? You are not a human, you are a devil. Ning Tong looked at the school like this and complained about Zhang Lan. Why did you destroy all the classrooms and the dormitory building? Where do you want me to live? Lao Ning's eyes widened in surprise. As a former 7th level strongman, he knew very well the level of these men in black. 
even if they could not defeat the 8th level strongmen, they could at least compete with them for a short period of time. They hid in Ning Tong's hiding space. Within five minutes, Liang Yu threatened to self-destruct and had to reveal themselves. The Superman in front of him only took five minutes to eliminate all the enemies, and even destroyed the scene as if it had just been invaded by a vicious beast. Ning Tong, how dare you talk to him like this? But looking at it this way, my daughter has pretty good taste. The men she looks for are either handsome or strong, and this one is both handsome and strong. It's just a bit unfair to Zhang Lan. He quickly glared at his daughter and said with a careful smile. This superhuman hero, my little girl is not sensible. Don't argue with her. It's good to destroy it. If the old one doesn't go, the new one won't come. Zhang Lan didn't dare to talk to Lao Ning anymore, for fear of revealing his flaws, he said in a deep voice. There should be no other enemies, everyone can rest assured. Liang Yu holds the detonator in his hand, his eyes are dull, and he has no enemies, so who am I? Ah, by the way, does this Superman think that I am a student and intends to let me go? Great, I don't have to die. While he was feeling happy, Liang Yu suddenly felt his body light up and flew up. From the corner of his eye, he saw a man looking towards him with scarlet eyes. Then two hot red rays of light penetrated his body directly and detonated the bomb. Bang! With a loud bang, the 25th boy Liang Yu was completely reduced to ashes in midair. Five minutes ago, the killers of the Divine Punishment Organization were full of interest and wanted to kill the entire school students' playthings. Five minutes later, only Lemuel with a broken leg and a completely paralyzed barrier master were left. Zhang Lan said coldly to Lemuel in the air. Get down on your knees and hold your head in your hands. I may consider sparing your life. He just observed Remiel's attack method, which should be a mental attack. Every time Remiel casts a spell, he feels as if someone has knocked him in the head, but that's all. Remiel's ability is actually the 32nd in A-level, illusion structure, creating a lifelike illusion in the enemy's mind. 50% of the damage received in the illusion will be reflected back to the main body, which will even make the main body sluggish. But when he used his ability on Zhang Lan, there was no reaction. Zhang Lan's powerful spiritual attributes and breath-sealing method made his spirit and body integrated, and he also had the three strongest inherited body protections. It was impossible for anyone to invade his brain and control his spirit. Lemuel smiled bitterly and slowly fell from the air. He took off his mask. The face under the mask made everyone present widen their eyes in surprise. Lemuel of the Divine Punishment Organization is actually Lin Zi, the director of the Sanjiang City Spiritual Realm Management Bureau. Ning Zhengxin clenched his fists and roared in a low voice. Why would you do such a thing, you beast? Everyone was shocked. What did we see? Why was the person in charge of these killers Director Lin? What did he want? Lin Zi said helplessly. There is no other way, Schoolmaster Lin. I don't want to enter the spiritual realm to seek death, but I also don't want to lose my talents. The technology of the God's Punishment Organization allows people to retain their talents without entering the spiritual realm, so. Ning Zhengxin asked him, who are the others and where do they come from? Lin Zi's face turned pale and he smiled. Don't ask, I won't tell. I'm sorry for causing trouble to you. He chewed it a few times in his mouth. Ning Zhengxin's expression suddenly changed. No, he's going to commit suicide. Unfortunately, it was too late. Lin Zi's face instantly turned black and green. He held on for his last breath and said. By the way, I destroyed the ferocious beast dispersing force field. If nothing else happens, there should be many ferocious beasts coming towards Sanjiang City. Reactivate the ferocious beast dispersing force field quickly, and maybe there will be a glimmer of hope. Quote. After saying that, Lin Zi's face began to melt, then his bones, and a few minutes later, he completely turned into a pool of blood. Zhang Lan couldn't help but be shocked, I guess he is a cruel person, he can even be cruel to himself. This time it's really true, there is no proof. Is today's attack of such a scale only at Lin Zi's level? It seems that it will take a long time to completely bring down the God's Punishment Organization. Ning Zhengxin said to Zhang Lan. This superhuman hero, you heard what Lin Zi said, can you quickly break this barrier? It is very likely that the wave of ferocious beasts will arrive in the next second. We must try our best to save as many citizens as possible. 
Zhang Lan said no more, nodded, adjusted his breath, and slowly flew up. When he came to where the barrier master was, he grabbed the collar of the barrier master and shouted. Hurry up and lift the barrier, do you hear me? The barrier master could only make unconscious ho-ho sounds and roll his eyes, unable to respond in any way. Zhang Lan's expression froze. He had been too harsh just now and crushed all his bones into pieces. It was not easy to get him to lift the barrier now. Zhang Lan jumped back to the ground with the barrier master, and Lao Ning hurriedly came up to meet him. How about it, can it be lifted? Zhang Lan shook his head and described the situation to Lao Ning. Ning Zhengxin said thoughtfully, if I remember correctly, he should be a 7th level special type barrier master named Ni Rui. He is very famous. He once trapped a dragon level ferocious beast with a barrier. It is known as the Wall of Size. It can be said to be indestructible. Broken. Now that we want to get out, we can only either kill him and break the barrier, or try to break the barrier. Zhang Lan looked at the corpses all over the ground and saw that this was the only one left alive. If he were to be killed, the clues would be completely lost. Then there is only one way, break the barrier. What is the wall of size? There is no wall in front of me that cannot be broken with one punch. If there is, then just punch me again. Zhang Lan said to the students. Stay back and let me break this barrier. Zhang Lan was afraid that there were innocent people around the barrier, so he chose to break through directly above. He was seen kneeling on one leg, slowly accumulating power, and his red cloak was flying in the wind. Then, like a red lightning bolt, Zhang Lan punched towards the top of the barrier. A serious punch. Open it for me. Outside the barrier, thousands of people have gathered, including reporters, military personnel, and awakened members of the Five Elements Alliance. Everyone tried various methods but could not destroy this barrier. The barrier is like an eternal mountain, indestructible. Everyone couldn't help but talk about it. What happened? Why was Sanjiang University's communications cut off while Sanjiang University was trapped by the barrier? At this moment, only half an hour had passed since Zhang Lan and the others were trapped. The Sanjiang City Border Defense Force quickly conducted a rigorous investigation. Finally, after destroying five high-power signal jammers, communications returned to normal. Zhang Anping received an emergency call for help while still on his way back to Kyoto. Sanjiang City University was attacked and has been completely blocked by the barrier. The border guards and the local martial arts association have tried various methods, but they have been unable to break the barrier. At the same time, Zhang Anping also received a picture of the scene. The dark yellow barrier stood directly in the picture like a high wall. Zhang Anping found the corresponding awakened person from his memory. After all, such a recognizable barrier is difficult to forget once you have seen it once. Veins bulged on his forehead. The beasts of the Divine Punishment Organization, even Ni Rui is one of theirs. Zhang Anping quickly dialed Yu Ling's number. It took a long time for Yu Ling to answer the call. She was panting a little and said impatiently. What's up? Zhang Anping said anxiously. Emperor Yu, Sanjiang City University was attacked by unknown forces and blocked by the Duangkong barrier. There was silence on Yu Ling's side, and after a few minutes, she spoke slowly. We can't escape here for now, and if it's Ni Rui's barrier, there's nothing we can do if we go there. It's too late now. Sorry, Zhang Ju. I promise you that when Su Hao and I finish clearing the beast tide, everyone involved in this matter will pay the due price. Zhang Anping clenched his fists and roared angrily. How long are we going to endure it? These beasts did this once a few years ago. Su Hao took the phone and said in a deep voice. That time a few years ago, Yu Ling and I were only at the seventh level. This time the situation is different. Trust me, Zhang Ju. Zhang Anping was silent for a while and said helplessly. Where is the Wrath Emperor? Can he take action? As long as there is a chance, I will never give up. Su Hao was silent for a while and said. Actually, uncle has arrived in Sanjiang City a long time ago, but he said he was going to meet an old friend, so he didn't come with us. I'll give you his private phone number and let him make his own decision. Dot 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 dot. Sanjiang City, Zhang Lan's home. Zhang Chengfei and a middle-aged man with a beard and two deep scars on his face were drinking and talking. Lao Zhang, I haven't seen you in 20 years, and you even have children in college. 
The middle-aged man's face turned red after drinking, and he patted Zhang Chengfei's shoulder with emotion. Old Wang, you too, after working so hard now, it's time to take a break. Future generations will have to worry about what happens next, so just let it go. The middle-aged man chuckled, but a fierce light flashed in his eyes. I also want to rest, but unfortunately, someone refuses, so I can only stay with him and see who is exhausted first. A trace of surprise flashed in Zhang Chengfei's eyes. Is it him? He robbed that thing and then defected out of the country. The middle-aged man nodded and laughed heartily. It's a happy day today. I won't mention him, but you are hiding it so deeply. If I hadn't looked at your son's file and discovered that his father has the same name as you, and took a look, I would have missed it. Zhang Chengfei also laughed. It's all in the past. Why did you bring him up? Come and have a drink. Let's have another drink. At this moment, a little girl ran in. Dad, it's bad, my brother's school is surrounded by a yellow wall. When the middle-aged man heard this, he put down his wine glass and walked outside the door with Zhang Chengfei, looking into the distance. He immediately narrowed his eyes and murmured to himself. These beasts deserve to die. Are you going crazy? Do you dare to do this in broad daylight? Zhang Chengfei said anxiously. What can we do? Shaolin is still in school. The middle-aged man with a scarred face smiled and comforted Zhang Chengfei. Don't worry, I'll go take a look and I'll be back in a minute. At this moment, the ground began to shake violently, and shrill alarms sounded in the city. Alarm, alarm, the beast tide is about to invade, everyone should go to the underground shelter immediately, alarm. The scar-faced man understood something instantly. He gritted his teeth and roared angrily. Beasts, all deserve to die. The veins on his forehead bulged and he said to Zhang Chengfei. Lao Zhang, take your family to the shelter first. I'm here, don't worry everything will be fine. The middle-aged man ran quickly towards Sanjiang University. As he ran, his figure gradually became larger and greener, completely bursting the valuable Mao Zhongshan suit on his body, and then let out a roar. Roar, he jumped high, reaching a height of several hundred meters, and disappeared within a few jumps. Zhang Shui looked at the middle-aged man with admiration and asked her father. Dad, is this the friend you mentioned in Kyoto? Zhang Chengfei nodded and said proudly, Yes, back then, your father and I were also a powerful awakener. After having your brother, I decided to return to a normal life. Zhang Shui asked him, Then what's the name of this uncle? He looks very powerful. He seems to be stronger than my brother. Zhang Chengfei smiled softly. He, we all called him Lao Wang back then. He had a crush on your mother back then. I hid in Sanjiang City to avoid him. Now that I have given birth to two children, let's see how he still robs her, hee <laughs> hee. Zhang Lan's mother picked up Zhang Shui and glared at Lao Zhang. You're old and you're not in shape anymore, so why are you telling your children this? Zhang Chengfei was even more proud. Just tell me whether I was handsome back then. I'm not much worse than our son. A blush appeared on Zhang Lan's mother's face, as if she was remembering that time, and then she grabbed Lao Yang's ears hard. Why are you so poor like me? Why don't you go to the shelter quickly? If you die, who will take care of your daughter? Ah, it hurts, my wife's ears are about to fall off if I let go. Dot 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 dot. After the communication was restored, Sanjong City urgently asked for help from the outside world. A wave of beasts attacked, and Sanjong University was blocked by a mysterious yellow barrier. The whole country was immediately shocked. What? Sanjiang City University was actually shrouded in a mysterious barrier, and there was even a wave of beasts coming. What about the beast dispersing force field, and what about the border guards? What happened at Sanjiang University? This time in the number. Four Spirit Realm, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong have just achieved outstanding results. Are they about to fall completely after seeing the two rising stars just now? Many reporters, seeing the communication restored, refused to waste a minute and immediately started live broadcast. Dear viewers, dear viewers, I am the resident reporter in Sanjiang City from CNTV1. I am currently outside Sanjiang University. As you can see, the light curtain behind me is the sky-breaking barrier known as the Wall of Sighs. Almost half an hour has passed since the barrier was opened. Whether the students in Sanjiang University are still alive or not remains unknown. 
who is it that has no conscience and did this to the students of Sanjiang University? Please stay tuned to this station. We will bring you first-hand on-site information. The camera switched to a female reporter wearing a beige one-step skirt, with long flowing hair and a graceful figure. She was smiling and was about to speak. Suddenly, the screen began to shake violently. A huge green monster passed by the camera, jumped directly onto the barrier, and began to roar and beat the barrier hard. He was still roaring angrily. Grass mud horse, let me drive it. The female reporter's eyes suddenly widened and she said casually. What kind of monster is this? A new type of ferocious beast. Why are you still cursing people? Someone next to her whispered a few words in her ear, and she apologized hurriedly. Oh, I'm sorry. I just learned that this is the Wrath Emperor, one of the three emperors of China. Because he needs to arouse his anger during battles, he always talks a lot and rarely appears in scenes. This is also the first time I have seen Wrath. The true appearance of the emperor, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the picture, the green monster was already smashing and greeting the whole family of the barrier master. I'm going to your mother, Ni Rui. I'm going to extract your grandma's pussy and make it into meat sauce. I'm going to bring my brother with me to you. Upon hearing such a novel way of playing, the female reporter was immediately extremely embarrassed. Fortunately, the director immediately switched to silent mode. Everyone in the live broadcast room was also deeply shocked, and it took a long time for someone to post a barrage. Well, it's no wonder that the only three emperors who often appear on the scene are Emperor Yu and Emperor Su. This angry emperor is indeed a little inappropriate for children. Hey, this is nothing. Last time I was lucky enough to see his old man take action at the scene. After returning home, he stayed around for three days. If the ferocious beast could understand human speech, it would probably have been so angry that it caused brain congestion. Hell, upstairs, I now have a new understanding of the idiom, three days around the beam. It seems like even the wrathful emperor can't do anything about this barrier. Who is so cruel to do this to a group of children? Even if they can break the barrier now, I'm afraid it's too late. After all, they are just a group of children. Among the students, the one with the highest level is Ning Tong. He is only at the fourth level. It is said that this barrier was set up by the seventh level special system awakeners. No one can break it within the duration. Beasts, they are just children, how could they do this? Uncle Wang turned into a giant green giant, and he beat the barrier hard for a while, but found that it didn't move at all. He suddenly felt that he couldn't lose his face, and he murmured to himself. It seems that anger is not enough. He narrowed his eyes and carefully thought about his recent unhappiness, and suddenly infinite anger burst out from his body. Zhang Chengfei, you despicable villain took advantage of me to enter the spiritual realm, stole Ahui's people, and made her pregnant. I'm going to kill you. Roar. Uncle Wang's eyes were scarlet, his size grew again, and he punched the barrier hard, making a loud thud. It's a pity that the barrier is still motionless, only the cold light curtain reflects the light, as if mocking his insignificance of power. Just when he was about to give up, suddenly, like an echo, there was another loud bang in the barrier. Huge sound ripples spread quickly, and a strong wind of level 7 or 8 blew up on the ground. The female reporters around them covered their skirts and screamed. The crowd around them all exclaimed. What happened? It seems like the barrier is about to break. The angry emperor's action is indeed extraordinary. Wow, that female reporter is actually by who? Where is it? Let me see it too. Only Uncle Wong knew in his heart that the blow just now was definitely not his fault. I saw a dark yellow barrier, a crack began to appear at the top, and gradually spread to the entire barrier, and the dark yellow light curtain revealed streaks of white light. Uncle Wang's expression changed drastically. No, it was impossible. It looked like the barrier was about to be broken from the inside. Who can break this barrier? You know, Ni Rui's sky-breaking barrier is almost a rule-like existence, and it is unbreakable before the duration ends. The country has also conducted tests before, and various methods and attacks have failed to defeat it. Now someone can actually break it. Uncle Wang looked solemnly and jumped off the barrier. With another loud noise, the entire barrier was like broken-tempered glass, with pieces shattering and floating in the air. A figure, like an arrow from a string, directly shattered the sky barrier and flew into the air, suspended steadily. 
This person was wearing a gray blue tight fitting suit and a dark red cape. There was a big red S letter on his chest. His whole body was domed with muscles. He was floating in the air quietly, and his cape was dancing fiercely, as if a god had come to the world. It's Superman. There were many reporters around, and they immediately recognized this iconic outfit. It was the Superman who caused quite a stir on the internet a few days ago. Zhang Lan saw Uncle Wang's iconic green giant body in the air, and his heart moved. Oh, is Uncle Wang here too? He was led by Yu Ling and Su Hao, who also called him Uncle Wang. Zhang Lan was about to go down and meet Uncle Wang. After all, he came to the rescue, so he should say hello at least. But I heard a deep roar coming from above the city. Hold head high. Immediately, a huge space gap slowly opened, like a devil's eye, and a huge beast's claw gradually protruded from it. A blue light glowed between the sharp claws, and a powerful aura swept through the entire Sanjiang city. Zhang Lan's eyes suddenly became serious. The monster on the other side of the space gap was very strong. Even with his current ability, he felt extremely strong pressure. A high-pitched alarm was sounded throughout Sanjiang City. A dragon-level ferocious beast is about to come. Please go to the shelter immediately. Please go to the shelter immediately. The Central Operations Hall of the General Headquarters of the Chinese Border Defense Force suddenly issued a shrill alarm. Alert! Alert! Dragon level beast number 012, there are signs of movement. Alert, alert, huge space fluctuations have been detected in the sky above Sanjiang City, and the suspected dragon level beast number 012 is about to arrive. Why do dragon level ferocious beasts come directly to the city? Where is the ferocious beast dispersing force field in Sanjiang City? All the ferocious beast dispersing force fields in Sanjiang City have failed, repeat, all have failed. Invite Emperor Yu and Emperor Su to go to Sanjiang City immediately. We contacted them just now. They are resisting the beast tide at the border and cannot escape. By the way, the furious emperor is in Sanjiang City. There's no chance of that. The furious emperor can only rescue a few people, and Sanjiang City will be completely wiped out. Dot 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 dot. Zhang Lan looked at the huge claw protruding from the gap in space, his expression a little dull. Isn't this right? The monsters in the Pacific Rim are also very powerful. But it's not that strong. It can tear apart space and come in regardless of distance. If it were so powerful, humans in the Pacific Rim world would have been extinct long ago. That's right, humans in the spiritual realm are extinct, it should be caused by these ferocious beasts suddenly becoming extremely powerful. Did I guess wrong that the world behind the beast is not the world of Pacific Rim? Where could that be? huge monsters, huge mechas. Zhang Lan suddenly remembered a world, and his pupils shrank violently. If it were really the world he thought of, in addition to the dragon-level beasts, there would also be more powerful world-destroying beasts. He landed next to Uncle Wang, ignored any nonsense, and asked. Uncle, what should we do now? Uncle Wang gave him a strange look. Why did this man know what Yu Ling and Su Hao called him? Yu Ling and Su Hao were the most proud disciples he brought out. They also regarded him as both father and teacher, so they affectionately called him uncle. No matter what, the man in tight clothes and red cloak in front of him called him uncle, which made him have a good impression of the man in front of him. Moreover, the man's strength also won his respect, Uncle Wang said solemnly. It's best to prevent it from coming, otherwise once it passes through the space cracks, even if you and I join forces to defeat it, the entire Sanjiang city will be completely reduced to ruins. Zhang Lan nodded, would it be easy to prevent the beast from coming? He burst out with breath again and flew into the air. Then his eyes turned red and he sprayed out two red rays of light, like lasers, directly into the cracks in space. The dragon-level ferocious beast on the other side of the space rift was caught off guard and suffered a huge loss. I could hear that the ferocious beast on the opposite side was very angry, and a huge roar came from the other side of the crack. A few seconds later, a thick black red ray shot directly over. Zhang Lan's sixth sense issued a crazy warning, and he quickly evaded to avoid being hit by the ray. The rays flew diagonally far away, spread for several kilometers, and finally sank into the surface. The entire Sanjiang city was plowed into a huge trench that was tens of meters deep and seven or eight meters wide. All objects hid by the black and red rays were instantly vaporized, leaving no residue behind. 
Zhang Lan was stunned when he saw the power of the dragon level ferocious beast's rays. With such power, if he were hit head on, it would probably be unbearable. Okay, since you've magnified your moves, don't blame me for not practicing martial ethics. It just so happened that he hadn't had time to try the newly learned turtle style Qigong. Zhang Lan stood up in the air, placed his hands on his waist in a lotus shape, and shouted in a low voice. Turtle, Pai, Qi, Gong. In fact, Zhang Lan intended this move to be a unique move in his normal form, and did not want him to use it in his man of steel form. But now, the entire Sanjiang city, his hometown, is in danger of being destroyed by the dragon-level beast. He doesn't care about hiding his clumsiness anymore, and fights off the dragon-level beast first. If he uses this trick again in his normal form in the future, it can be said that it was taught to him by Superman. As a martial arts school, turtle-style qigong is indeed a skill that can be mastered through learning and has nothing to do with talent. I'm extremely talented and can learn it as soon as I learn it. It's very reasonable. Superman's heat vision is lethal enough, but when faced with a dragon-level beast as huge as a hill, the damage it can do to it is limited. Even if the skin of the ferocious beast could be cut open, for the ferocious beast's huge body, it would be like using a knife to pull its butthole. It would be painful but not fatal. And the heat vision cannot burst out all his energy at once. Unlike the turtle-style qigong, one can accumulate power in one blow and release all the breath in an instant, causing huge damage. To deal with such a giant monster, the turtle-style qigong is more suitable. Zhang Lan poured all the energy in his body into the turtle-style qigong wave in his hand, and launched a huge beam of light directly into the crack in space. The dragon-level ferocious beast on the other side of the space crack spewed out a second huge black-red ray, which collided with the turtle qigong wave, making an earth-shattering noise. The huge energy collision caused strong fluctuations to erupt in the sky above Sanjiang City. Except for Uncle Wang and Ning Tong, they could barely stand. Everyone else was blown away by the fluctuations of the air, like willow leaves flying in the wind. The violent energy fluctuations completely destroyed the already unstable space cracks. As the dragon-level ferocious beast roared unwillingly, the cracks slowly closed. At this moment, the border defense troops made emergency repairs and reopened the beast dispersing force field. Sanjiang City once again became vague and distant in the perception of dragon-level beasts. As his breath was completely exhausted, Zhang Lan fell from the air. Ning Tong had been paying attention to him, and quickly flew up, wrapped Zhang Lan with his biological force field, and brought Zhang Lan safely back to the ground. Zhang Lan forced himself up. The roars of the ferocious beasts were getting closer and closer. They still had a tough battle to fight. Ning Tong comforted Zhang Lan. You've done your best, now it's time for us to make a difference. After saying that, Ning Tong's whole body glowed with blue light and slowly rose from the ground. She was going to fight the ferocious beasts alone. Tang Yu and Ren Pong asked one after another. Take us, Sister Tong. We can help in some way. Ning Tong nodded, and a blue light surrounded several people, heading towards the group of ferocious beasts. Then a big green man also passed over Zhang Lan's head and headed towards the group of ferocious beasts, followed by Sanjiang City's border guards and thousands of awakened people. Zhang Lan was completely relieved when he saw Uncle Wang taking action. Uncle Wang, one of the three emperors, takes action. If he can't deal with this group of ferocious beasts, then the name of the three emperors will really be wasted. Zhang Lan was able to breathe for the time being. He slowly closed his eyes and recalled the punch that broke the barrier. The blow that broke the barrier just now was not actually caused by him, or rather, it was not entirely caused by him. He tried several times inside the barrier, but failed to break the barrier. The barrier seemed to exist in another space. No matter how hard he punched with all his strength, he could not shake it at all. In desperation, he couldn't help but feel a little annoyed. It is conceivable that once the beast tide floods into the city, there will be countless human casualties, and even his family may suffer misfortune. These days, Zhang Lan has regarded Lengxing's parents and sister as his closest relatives, the closest people to him in the world. Once something unexpected happens, Zhang Lan will definitely regret it for the rest of his life. Zhang Lan was about to turn around and kill the barrier master when suddenly, a voice sounded in his mind. Inheritor, this is not how you use a serious punch. Let me demonstrate it once and remember this feeling. 
Then Zhang Lan discovered that his body moved on its own. He didn't need to jump up from the ground to use force. He seemed to be doing it lightly and punched easily. This punch seems to break through the limitations of time and space, and all objects in the way will be destroyed by it. His fists now displayed the unyielding and unyielding momentum of Saitama Sensei. The fist obviously did not touch the barrier, but Zhang Lan saw that the space was cracked inch by inch under the punch, and with a loud noise, the entire barrier began to fall apart. Zhang Lan knew in his heart that this was teacher Saitama, who used his body to deliver a serious punch. It was more than a hundred or a thousand times stronger than the serious punch he had punched himself. The space was shattered by this punch. Zhang Lan recalled the charm of that punch over and over again, feeling as if he had gained something, but there still seemed to be something missing. After thinking for a long time, Zhang Lan could only imprint this punch firmly in his heart. Only then did he realize that he was still far, far away from teacher Saitama's realm. With the same body, the strength Saitama Sensei can exert is a thousand times greater than his current strength. The problem must be with him. The beast tide surged forward and intertwined with the human side. Uncle Wang roared angrily. Zhang Chengfei, you still have a son and a daughter, and I'm still single. Go to hell for me. In Uncle Wang's eyes, the ferocious beast seemed to have turned into Zhang Chengfei, making him even more angry. You beast, die. With one punch, he beat a ghost-level ferocious beast into a pulp. His state became more and more brave, punching one ferocious beast at a time. After the humans killed nearly a hundred ferocious beasts, they were no longer invincible, and the remaining ferocious beasts roared and began to retreat. Ning Tong looked at Uncle Wang's huge green body and was deeply shocked by his strength. She had already learned from others that this was one of the three emperors of China, the Wrath Emperor. The wrathful emperor is really powerful. Who is Zhang Chengfei in his mouth? He stole his woman and made her pregnant. It's really too much. It's just like I've heard this name somewhere. The son did not mention his father's surname, and Zhang Lan never mentioned his father's name to Ning Tong, so Ning Tong did not know that Zhang Chengfei was Zhang Lan's father. At this point, the attack launched by the Divine Punishment Organization was finally completely resolved. Although the attack of the Divine Punishment Organization was suppressed by Zhang Lan, the aftershocks had just begun. The air in the underground secret base of the Divine Punishment Organization seemed to freeze. Gabriel's huge body was sitting on the bench, and several masked men in black below were trembling, reporting the results of the Sanjiang University operation. When Gabriel heard that there was no news from all the operators, it was tantamount to announcing that the operation of the God's Punishment Organization had failed again. He couldn't stand it anymore and growled. Trash, they are all a bunch of trash. A dozen S-level and A-level awakened people, can't even kill a fourth-level awakened person. Who is the man who broke the barrier? Why was there no information about him before? The man in black replied with a trembling voice. Reporting to Sir Gabriel, this man claims to be Superman. Last time his talent was graded, he only showed 6th level strength, but this time, it seems that he has at least 8th level strength. 8th level, Gabriel's eyes flashed, he held his chin in his hands and said in a deep voice. Find out the identity of this man as soon as possible, and you all go down. As the man in black exited, Gabriel stretched out an arm from under his black robe. Although the arm had a large frame, it was already skinny in bones, like a skeleton, and the bones were clearly visible. He shuddered and growled, As the most powerful man in the world, am I going to die because I can't replenish my energy? A huge voice sounded in his head. How can you mortals covet the power of God? Gabriel, release me, and I will give you eternal life. The world will surrender at your feet. Gabriel sneered. Then, from now on, I will become your puppet and be at your mercy. You aren't you. Stop dreaming. Even if I die, I will not let you step out of that place. Ha ha ha, pathetic reptile, just wait and see. I have infinite life, but you only have a few pitiful lifespan left. Gabriel's eyes flickered a few times, he stood up and floated into the passage, giving instructions to the man in black guarding the door. Start reviving Unit 1. The people in black were immediately shocked. What, Lord Gabriel, that is an existence that is completely uncontrollable. Moreover, there are at least four eighth-level awakeners in China now. Even if there is Unit 1, you alone may not be able to. 
Gabriel snorted coldly, and took in a man in black with one hand. As the scarlet light flashed in his eyes, the man in black didn't even scream, and completely turned into a skinny skeleton. A cold glint flashed in Gabriel's eyes. I don't want to hear anyone dare to question my decision again. Many people in black knelt down on one knee, their whole bodies trembling, and their heads lowered. Yes, Lord Gabriel, everything is as you wish. Dot 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 dot. The three emperors were furious, and the Wa Kingdom focused on investigating those who had not entered the spiritual realm for a long time but could still maintain their talents. Although Zhang Lan didn't know exactly how many spies had been uncovered, from the news, officials in various departments changed frequently. He would know that this time the power of the Divine Punishment Organization in China was really severely damaged. But he still did not take it lightly, and Lu Shan still sat firmly on the throne of the Seven Generals. Zhang Lan could still see him on TV and attend various major events as usual, which made Zhang Lan quite helpless. As one of the seven generals, Lu Shan can sit in this position, which shows that his own abilities, both in terms of strength and mind, are not ordinary people. It must be very difficult to pull him down from the throne. If there is no conclusive evidence for a person of this level, even the three emperors cannot take him down at will. So Zhang Lan wisely kept silent, waiting for the opportunity to strike hard again and completely expose his true face. The degree of corruption in China's internal organization shocked Zhang Anping and the three emperors. It was a complete wake-up call for them. Secondly, the emergence of Superman completely attracted the attention of all walks of life. Even the actions of Zhang Lan and Ning Tong in clearing the number four spiritual realm were selectively forgotten by everyone. After all, this is not the first time Zhang Lan and Ning Tong have done this. Even if you ask Zhang Lan, you will be fooled by him. It seemed reasonable at the time, but after thinking about it, it seems that he didn't say anything. Everyone has gradually become accustomed to it. The combination of these two people will cause something to happen every time in the spiritual realm. Forget it, just let them go. I'm lucky if I didn't collapse my spiritual realm. Others were trembling when they entered the spiritual realm, but when these two entered the spiritual realm, everyone was on tenterhooks. After all, there were only a few spiritual realms that were simple and had a high survival rate. If they don't play much with them anymore, how will the awakened people behind them survive? The excitement between Zhang Lan and Ning Tong subsided. But the most popular video on social media is the scene where Superman uses mysterious skills to completely destroy the space rift of the dragon level beast. Countless netizens left messages below. What kind of innate skill is this? It looks really powerful and domineering. Judging from his mouth shape, it should be, Ghost Painter. Although it's a bit embarrassing to shout, it makes people's blood boil inexplicably. I feel like the ancient martial arts talent. Could it be that Superman is the S2 talent awakener? It's impossible. Su Huang doesn't know how to do this. Why can Superman launch such a powerful long-range attack? Superman is so handsome. I'll give you $500. Who can tell me what talent he has awakened? I'm going to show you a set of private photos of Hi-C and ask for Superman's real name and address. This figure is so enviable to my aunt. Upstairs, I'll pay you $500 to buy your private photos. The brilliant record of destroying Superman alone and all the killers of God's punishment organization. Moreover, in front of thousands of reporters, he used a talent that had never been seen before to completely smash the space rift. All of China, and even the whole world, had endless curiosity about this man named Superman. Who is he? What is his real name? How old is he? What is his strength? Why can one person fight against the death breath of a dragon-level ferocious beast? The streets and alleys of Sanjiang City are full of reporters who are eager to question anyone they catch. Uncle, do you know this man? Auntie, do you know this person? An aunt who was leaning against the corner to bask in the sun raised her head, adjusted her reading glasses, took the reporter's cell phone, and looked at it carefully for a long time. Let's take a look. I seem to have seen this person somewhere. The reporter's eyes shone brightly, and he almost fell to his knees. Auntie, think about it carefully. Where have you seen him? What is his name and where does he live? Auntie's eyes were distant, as if she was recalling long ago. That year, I was just 24. On the eve of my wedding, Xiao Fang and Xiao Jing and I went to watch a macho show. 
There was a tall and handsome foreign guy on the stage. Hey, why are you leaving? I haven't finished speaking yet. Soon, someone noticed the talent identification information submitted by the Five Elements Alliance two months ago. The man in the video is not the Superman they are looking for. As soon as the news came out, the alloy threshold of the Five Elements Alliance in Sanjong City was almost broken. The Five Elements Alliance instantly became a more crowded place than Sanjong University. Countless beautiful reporters surrounded Yi Cheng, with microphones in his face. Looking from a distance from the air, I thought Yi Cheng was engaging in some bad activity. With a rosy face, Yi Cheng faced a group of reporters and pointed at his broken leg. In fact, his leg injury had already healed. In order to show the fierce battle between him and Superman, he found a bandage to wrap it up again. Look, this is the proof of my fight with Brother Superman. At that time, Brother Superman and I fought for 300 rounds. In the end, Brother Superman failed to stop his move and broke my leg. Brother Superman immediately felt deeply sorry. I he he he, it's okay, it's an honor for me, Mr. Yi, to be injured by you, Brother Superman. Then Leader Yi, do you know Superman's name and address? Who is he? Why doesn't the official have any information about him? Yi Cheng's face froze. He put aside this ignorant reporter and continued to answer other people's questions, showing his professionalism as a qualified alliance leader. Just as he was talking and talking happily, someone suddenly exclaimed. Oh my god, what is that? Everyone followed his gaze and saw a large blood-red hole slowly opening in the sky, with a huge figure faintly moving inside. A huge expressionless eye looked at Blue Star from the big hole, as if looking at a group of lambs waiting to be slaughtered. Dot 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 dot. After the attack by the Divine Punishment Organization, Zhang Anping added several small targets to Lao Ning for the purpose of rebuilding the campus. But because the teaching building and dormitory building were all cut into pieces by Zhang Lan's 360 degree heat ray with no blind spots. Although Lao Ning is now rich, rebuilding the school building is not something that can be solved in 10 and a half months. Students' daily classes can only be held in the auditorium. At Ning Tong's strong request, she and Lao Ning moved near Zhang Lan's home and bought a small villa two kilometers away from Zhang Lan's home. Ning Tong went to Zhang Lan's house every day when she had nothing to do, helped with housework, and called her uncle and aunt, as if she were a prospective daughter-in-law. This made Zhang Lan's parents smile from ear to ear with joy and nodded in praise. Okay, what a good girl. Zhang Chengfei was very happy. Shaolin is very capable, half as good as I was back then. Yang's mother was furious. Fart, how are you better than my son? Zhang Chengfei was calm and calm. Back then, when I was his age, he was already in your belly. So, am I twice as strong as him? Yang's mother was speechless. She glared at Lao Zhang fiercely and twisted her husband's ears. Stop talking nonsense and get to work quickly. Zhang Chengfei's face looked a little strange. He glanced around, his eyes full of vigilance. I'm taking leave and resting at home for a few days. Q, Q, Q equals percent. Asking for leave, what kind of leave are you asking for? What will we two eat if you ask for leave? At the corner, there was an old man with two scars on his face, wearing a crisp blue suit and looking like a dog. His face, which was full of beards, was clean, and his green cheeks were beating, and he was angry in his heart. Zhang Chengfei, I just want to have a few words with Xiao Hui alone, why don't you give me a chance, I should have punched you to death yesterday. It's all because I was too soft-hearted and couldn't do it. His face gradually turned green, his muscles bulged, and he was about to burst his suit. Lao Wang quickly comforted himself. Forget it, it's been twenty years, let it go, or you'll have to transform again. Then it slowly returned to normal. You can only be a thief for a thousand days, but you can prevent a thief for a thousand days. Old thief Zhang, I won't leave. Can you not go to work for the rest of your life? Ha ha. Lao Wang thought about what he was proud of and couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. He turned around and saw Zhang Lan and Ning Tong staring at him with strange expressions on their faces. Uncle, what are you doing? Zhang Lan couldn't help but wonder. If he hadn't looked at this uncle, who was well-dressed and worth a lot of money, he would have thought that Lao Wang was a thief. He and Ning Tong had only seen Wang Zongshu in his transformed state, and did not know that the scar-faced middle-aged man in front of them was the wrathful emperor himself. 
What's more, in order to make a good impression on Zhang Lan's mother, Lao Wang even shaved off the beard he had grown for more than 10 years, which made it even more difficult to identify. Lao Wang knew them both, but he didn't know that Zhang Lan was actually Superman. So two people who had fought side by side and could transform didn't even recognize each other when they faced each other. I have to say, this is the magic of fate. In Wang Zongshu's eyes, the current Zhang Lan is a famous pretty boy in Sanjiang City, a soft-boiled boy. With his handsome face, he hugged Ning Tong's thigh and lay there until now. He was also the descendant of the pretty boy who stole his woman. Before Zhang Lan was born, he had actually seen Zhang Lan through his belly. Wang Zongshu couldn't help but groaned when he thought of this. But those were the grievances of the previous generation. As one of the three emperors, he, Wang Zongshu, would not anger Zhang Lan because of this trivial matter. After all, Zhang Lan still had half of Ahui's blood flowing through him. From Zhang Lan's handsome face, he could still see part of Ahui's face when he was young. Therefore, Lao Wang has very complicated feelings about Zhang Lan. In front of juniors, he still wanted to save face, so he quickly found a reason for himself. Oh, I'm here to apply for a job as a lecturer at Sanjiang University. Is this the home of President Ning? Ning Tong was speechless. Uncle, you are looking in the wrong place. Principal Ning's home is not here. She looked at Wang Zongshu's burly figure and old face that had experienced many vicissitudes of life, and felt that he should once have been a powerful awakener. It just so happened that the school was expanding rapidly and lacked lecturers, so it was better to give him an interview. So, Ning Tong and Zhang Lan took Wang Zongshu home. As soon as he entered the door, Ning Tong shouted. Dad, I'll get you a lecturer. Lao Ning was in the kitchen, carefully cooking ferocious beast spirit meat for his daughter. As Ning Tong's attributes improved, she also began to feel the hunger, but it was not as strong as Zhang Lan's before. Animal spirit meat can relieve it. He came out wearing an apron, holding a spatula, and said casually. Ah, it's been a long time since I posted the notice, so why are there people applying now? Ning Zhengxin was stunned for a moment when he saw Lao Wang's scarred face. His face suddenly changed drastically, and the spatula in his hand fell to the ground with a clang. As a former seventh-level master, Lao Ning knew Wang Zongshu. Although the angry emperor himself was dressed like a dog today, and even shaved off his iconic beard. But this figure, this imposing manner, and the two iconic scars on his face made Lao Ning immediately recognize him. He also knew that the angry emperor came to Sanjiang city yesterday. But I didn't expect that my daughter would go out for a walk and bring the angry emperor home, saying that she wanted to apply for a teacher. Isn't this the angry emperor himself? Why are you here? You also said you want to apply for a lecturer position. Are you kidding? How can I afford this giant Buddha? Dad, what's wrong with you? Ning Tong saw her father losing his temper and quickly stepped forward to support Ning Zhengxin, fearing that he would fall. Lao Wang didn't wait for Principal Ning to speak and winked at him. He was going to peek at someone else's wife today. After all, it wasn't very honorable. If the younger generation knew about the embarrassing things he did back then, he wouldn't be able to survive. Lao Wang suddenly felt something in his heart. Since he didn't have much time, he might as well stay at Sanjiang University and become a teacher. In this way, he can not only protect Ning Tong and Zhang Lan, the pair of future stars of China, but also investigate the true identity of Superman and even see the goddess from back then at close range in the last moments of his life. Killing three birds with one stone and ending this life is a good choice. Back then, Yu Ling and Su Hao were the young talents he brought out. Now he feels that Zhang Lan and Ning Tong also have this potential. Although Zhang Lan, a brat, is a little less talented, as an eighth level master, he knows that talent is not the only thing. So, Lao Wang made up his mind and coughed quietly. Well, Principal Ning, I want to apply for a lecturer position at Sanjiang University. Do you think I'm qualified? Lao Ning's eyes were dull and he was complaining wildly in his heart. What the hell are you talking about? You, the angry emperor of China and the emperor of martial arts, come to my private university to be a lecturer. Are you asking me if I am qualified? The person who can evaluate whether you are qualified or not is not born yet bar. Lao Ning's brain was racing rapidly, and before he could speak, the light outside the window suddenly dimmed, taking on a hint of blood red. 
Zhang Lan's eyes darkened, and he sneered inwardly, it's the God's Punishment Organization again. How dare you come to cause trouble? If I don't pull out your intestines this time, I will lose. Several people came to the window and looked out, just in time to see the huge blood-red cavity and the huge humanoid creature walking back and forth in it. Zhang Lan and Ning Tong's eyes were dull. What is this? Lao Ning frowned. He seemed to have heard of this phenomenon, but for a while he couldn't remember what it was. Only Lao Wang had the most exaggerated expression, with his mouth wide open and his eyes as wide as bells. Ling, spiritual realm invasion. Lao Wang was stunned and squeezed out a few words from his heart. Dot 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 dot. The blood red hole that suddenly appeared in the sky above the blue star can be observed from all angles around the world. Although most people don't know what the specific situation is, they feel that the huge figure over there carries endless malice. In the human world, the internet is in panic. What is that big hole? It looks like there are huge monsters inside. It's so scary. Why do I feel like they are always looking at us? I feel like we're like little chickens to them. The International Spiritual Environment Management Organization issued an emergency statement. The huge hole currently appearing in the sky of Blue Star is a special astronomical phenomenon. Please don't worry too much. It is expected that this astronomical phenomenon will disappear completely in about a week. Closing square bracket. But in fact, privately, the International Spiritual Realm Management Organization has contacted the Spiritual Realm Administration authorities of various countries and convened a global emergency meeting. Pan Wenji, the honorary chairman of the International Spiritual Realm Administration, a short man of Korean descent with a heavy face, said in the video. Everyone, after confirmation, the giant humanoid creature in the space is the man-eating giant in the fifth spiritual realm. If the crisis in the number 5 spiritual realm is not handled properly, it is likely to cause an invasion of the spiritual realm. The consequence will be that in addition to the ferocious beasts, another powerful species will be added. By then, the ferocious beast dispersing force field will be completely ineffective, and the end of mankind is coming. A sanguo, Narendra Kennel, but disagreed. Wouldn't it be better if the ferocious beast and this giant species fight each other? Zhang Anping couldn't help but angrily criticized Narendra. Do you have any common sense? The giant species in the number 5 spiritual realm are only hostile to humans and have no interest in animals. Once they invade Blue Star, the ferocious beast dispersing force field that humans have finally built will have no effect on them. Quote. Ban Wenji stopped the conflict between the two in time. There is no time to argue. Humanity cannot afford to gamble or lose. Everyone, Please send the strongest awakened person in the country who can enter the number 5 spiritual realm to end this spiritual realm invasion. The fate of mankind is in their hands. Please. Quote. He trembled, knelt on the ground, and began to kowtow to the directors of the administrations of various countries, making a thumping sound. The International Spiritual Realm Administration has no real power and is just a centrally coordinating organization. Therefore, even as the honorary chairman, Pan Wenji can only rely on various countries. The leaders of each country said no more, and they couldn't help but feel a little sad in their hearts. The spiritual realm invasion of number 5 is barely controllable. What if it were number 20, or number 30, or even number 40? Where is the future of mankind? Zhang Anping exited the meeting with a solemn look on his face. If the number 5 spiritual realm invaded reality, only one-third of China's more than one billion people would be left. According to his understanding, the giants in the number 5 spiritual realm are extremely hostile to humans. It can even be said that they are exactly the same as ferocious beasts and only attack humans. I don't know why these monsters in the spiritual realm hate humans so much. The current ferocious beast dispersing force field only works on ferocious beasts. How should humans deal with the man-eating giant in the fifth spiritual realm? Due to a problem with the spiritual realm mechanism, each spiritual realm can only be entered once in a lifetime. As a result, the powerful awakened people in China cannot enter the number 5 spiritual realm again. Fortunately, he still has one last option. From this point of view, his investment during this period was not in vain. If there is anyone else in this world who has the strength to prevent the number 5 spiritual realm from invading reality during their freshman and sophomore years, then it is only those two. Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. 
These two have proven with their brilliant achievements that everyone before, including the current Emperor Yu and Emperor Su, are scum in terms of conquering the spiritual realm. Although Zhang Lan's talent is average, he has received the third and fourth spiritual realms and a full 3,500 potential point rewards. He has now firmly become a fourth-level awakened person. Not to mention Ning Tong, who has extremely high natural attribute growth. He has gained a large number of potential points in several spiritual realms in a row. If we really divide it according to actual combat power, he should almost reach the fifth level. It can be said that among the freshmen and sophomores in this class, there is no other pair that is better than them. Although these two people had just returned from spiritual realm number four and experienced the attack of killers from the God's Punishment Organization. But the invasion of reality by the number five spiritual realm is related to the safety of all mankind. Now they can only rely on them to turn the tide, so that mankind can have a glimmer of hope. Zhang Anping looked calm and dialed Lao Ning's phone number. Hello, Principal Ning. Yes, I'm Director Zhang. I want to discuss something with you. Lao Ning was also worried about the angry emperor insisting on becoming his school teacher. He knew the new emperor well, and he was here to be the teacher. If that classmate turned his back on him, angered him, and got angry, the school might have to be rebuilt. Lao Ning's eyes lit up when he saw Zhang Anping's call. He hid in the soundproof study and whispered, Zhang Ju, I also have something to do. It's urgent. Please help me think of a solution. Zhang Anping chuckled. Your matter is not urgent. My matter concerns all mankind. Please listen to me first. Listening to Zhang Anping's words, Lao Ning's eyes widened and he couldn't help but exclaimed. After Zhang Anping described the situation, he sincerely begged Lao Ning. Principal, I know this is unfair to Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. They have just returned from the number. Four spiritual realm and experienced an attack by the Divine Punishment Organization. Logically, they should take some time off. But after thinking about it, in the whole country, and even in the whole world, they are the only ones who have a chance to save humanity, so I can only leave it to them. If you have any requests, feel free to ask for them. As long as I can do it, I will satisfy them all unconditionally. Lao Ning said in a deep voice. I can only try to ask them to do this, but if they are unwilling, I can't force it. Zhang Anping knew this. After all, it was useless to force the two of them to risk their lives to save mankind. Principal Ning, try your best. If you need any conditions, you can ask for them. Lao Ning said again. One more thing, Director Zhang, please help me persuade Mr. Nu Huang. So Lao Ning told him about the situation of the angry emperor. Zhang Anping laughed. It's a small matter, give the phone to Emperor Nu. Lao Ning called Wang Zongshu into the room. After a fierce argument and scolding, Lao Wang hung up the phone and informed Principal Ning with a grin. Hee hee, needless to say, it's not Zhang Anping's turn to make the decision regarding my affairs. The matter is urgent, now it's up to me to give them the first lesson. Later, Zhang Lan and Ning Tong, who had just slipped out of home and were about to go shopping together, were called home again before they had walked 200 meters. Ning Zhengxin first introduced Lao Wang with a pained look on his face. This is the newly hired special teacher in our school, Ang. Old Zhao, there is an emergency now. Let teacher Zhao explain it to you. Lao Wang coughed and introduced in a friendly manner. My surname is Zhao. From now on, I will be your spiritual realm teacher. I won't say too many polite words. Did you see that big hole in the sky? The reason why Lao Wang changed his surname was because on that day when he was facing the beast tide, he cursed Zhang Chengfei a lot and said that Lao Zhang had stolen his woman, which Ning Tong must have heard. He himself felt shameless to meet people, so he introduced himself to Lao Ning, my surname is Zhao, please call me Lao Zhao from now on. Lao Ning's look at that time was extremely weird. Angry Emperor, what are you doing? It's obvious that your surname is Wang, and that Wang next door, Lao Wang, you have to say that your surname is Zhao. How can I reconcile this lie with my children in the future? Zhang Lan and Ning Tong's expressions were also dull. Ah, what's going on? Why did you, principal, suddenly agree to let this man become a lecturer at Sanjiang University? Lao Wang was very satisfied with the expressions of Zhang Lan and Ning Tong. That big hole in the sky is a precursor to the invasion of the spiritual realm, 
and based on my years of experience, I can tell that the spiritual realm that is about to be invaded is the fifth spiritual realm. As soon as Zhang Lan heard that the number five spiritual realm was about to invade reality, his eyes suddenly became sharp. He looked solemnly and said in a deep voice, So, Teacher Zhao, there is no need to enter the number five spiritual realm. Ning Tong couldn't help but cheer and clapped hands with Zhang Lan. Great, I can finally rest for a few days. Lao Ning looked embarrassed and coughed. No, Director Zhang hopes that you two can enter the number five spiritual realm as soon as possible to prevent the giant man-eating monster inside from invading reality. Ning Tong was immediately unhappy. Didn't we just return from spiritual realm number? Four, we also experienced an assassination so we are going to enter spiritual realm number five right away. Even if you have a donkey at home, you wouldn't use it to your death. She pouted. Dad, Zhang Lan and I want to rest for a few days. We don't have time to go shopping in the spiritual realm every day. Winter is coming soon and I'm almost out of clothes. Zhang Lan nodded. Yes, principal, I also feel that my uncle is here these days, and I am in a bad state. Lao Wang said in a deep voice. You can talk about love and love even in the spirit realm. Back then, I didn't take the woman I loved into the spirit realm, and my home was stolen. I have regretted it for the rest of my life. Ning Tong suddenly blinked his big eyes and said curiously. Really, Teacher Zhao, please tell me quickly so that I can learn more about it. She was secretly wary in her heart. There were indeed signs of this. For example, if Wan Rui, a busty woman, entered the spiritual realm in the future, she would have to watch Zhang Lan closely. Lao Wang's face stiffened and he said in a deep voice, I'll tell you when I have time. If you can, I hope you can try your best to save humanity. Otherwise, if the monsters from the number 5 spiritual realm invade reality, at least half of humanity will die. Zhang Lan actually already had some guesses about the monsters in the number 5 spiritual realm, and he yawned lazily. Well, they're just a bunch of weak chickens. When Wang Zongshu saw Zhang Lan looking so lazy, he seemed to have seen his father. Except that he had no hair, he looked like Zhang Chengfei when he was young. Although Zhang Lan's facial features resemble those of Ao Wei, his current demeanor looks very much like his father's. He suddenly became so angry that he slapped the table and shouted angrily. Concentrate, spirit realm number five is very dangerous. If you don't pay attention, you will die in it. Humanity is still waiting for you to save. I will explain the monsters in spirit realm number five next. It's up to you whether to go or not, but learn more about it. It's also good. In spiritual realm number five, all awakened ones will be transported to a city surrounded by three layer walls. There will be endless man-eating giants constantly attacking. In the city, except for the awakened ones, there are no other creatures, but there is water and supplies. Next, let me explain the types of giants in the number 5 spiritual realm. After speaking, Wang Zongshu used chalk on a small blackboard and began to draw. The round head, round body, and limbs are represented by four lines. Such poor drawing skills are worse than those of a three-year-old child. Seeing that he still wanted to draw the facial features of the villain, Zhang Lan covered her eyes and raised her hands weakly. Well, Teacher Zhao, why don't you just say it, we can understand. Lao Wang also felt that he really couldn't do anything with his painting skills. He glanced at Lao Ning and pursed his lips, meaning that you still have your lesson plan and you haven't taken it out to help me deal with emergencies. Lao Ning shook his head and said helplessly, My lesson plans were all cut into pieces and completely damaged. I asked Director Zhang for the information, and he said that it would be flown over tomorrow along with the transmitter. Zhang Lan had previously used a newly created trick to completely destroy the spiritual teleporter. He plowed countless deep ravines throughout the entire Sanjiang University ground. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.